I've done this. So what? You're just gonna sit there? Yeah. I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> I'm, just gonna watch. I'm not gonna, gonna say sit there a and word. Uncomfortably stare at me. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a word. <laughs> All right, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have two very special, special, special <laughs> Yes, Mr. Poncho Moeller and Wee Man are in the building, dude. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank it's you. We yeah. t- Wee Man's uh, eighth time on the show. So, <laughs> you know, we, we, we love you, but Poncho, dude. So I'm so stoked that you're here, dude. Thank you, man. I was Thank a big you guys fan, for having me. Big fan of uh, your skating back in the day, man. Thanks, man. I was a fan of yours. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We never, I don't think we ever crossed paths. I think we crossed paths before at Beebles Park. But oh, I wasn't okay. skating or anything. I was just kind of hanging out with Stefan and them. Yeah. And you were there. Okay. But yeah. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about you You and Jerron, though? You guys have been a long time ago, right? Yeah, we met yeah. a long we, time we, ago. We met in the Embarcadero days. Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, 92, 93. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's tight. Dang. We've known you? each other for some that's time here. <laughs> but, but you know what? I knew Jerron then, too. It's true. Yeah. What when yeah. did you World. meet Poncho? Uh, later. Later, later. Later, later. Well, we had a phone call. And no, we had two phone calls. One phone call was at Big Brother when our issue came out and we were both like, okay, there's two of us, you know, two two midgies skating yeah. together. <laughs> and the oh. first time they're being blasted out, they're in the magazine together. And uh, this is the, with the, was it ads of the magazine? Because you guys had two covers separately. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah this we is were, just the we one were that we were, yeah. The one he had the cover, we were both in together. Okay. And our interviews were like, on top of each other. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is before both of those. Uh, okay. Oh, this so, is before both of these. Yeah, covers. this is before both those covers. Gosh, dude, those wow. covers are insane. I know, Big Brother. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you probably worked here at this time too, right? Big Brother or no? It was as uh, before you worked during there. Ponchos. I did. Okay. But not. No, nah, I didn't work there uh, for mine. I was already like that's right when uh, Dogtown released my board and it was this pro spotlight. God for Dogtown, nice. yeah, but when Poncho was got that at or that cover, I was you were shipping them out, huh? Yeah, I worked there for like three months, and I did a horrible job. <laughs> <laughs> was Jermaine that, was that the shittiest me. job you ever had? Uh, might have been. Was it the only job you've ever yeah. had? No, I uh, I worked at an RV rental place where you rent RVs. Mm. What was your title? Uh, just show people how to use the RV. <laughs> there you go. It's the toilet. Here's the keys. Here's the keys. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> and then I was a grocery store bagger. Okay. Yeah, bag groceries. I feel that like, was like that was like six months. I feel like fifty percent of like, the population has bagged groceries before. Yeah, you got to get it. Yeah, it's one. It's have, a right to passage. Bag groceries? I have. Oh really? Yes. Did but and then I but I graduated up to the milkman. You oh, look like a guy that would bag groceries. <laughs> Is that, that graduating? Like, Whole Foods or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it was at a at a at a um, health food store, health food store nice. in Malibu. Yeah, nice. Malibu. It was great. Yeah, nice. yeah, man. Oh, beautiful place. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do it because you wanted the groceries? Like you're like, oh, I'm gonna get a deal now. Like no, I'm- at that point, I probably. Oh God, I can't remember. I'm so bad with time frames, but I Got probably it. still live with my parents. I was like 15, probably 16, yeah. maybe 17, maybe. I don't know. Just I, needed I a job. I need to, needed a job. I mean, yeah. skating. I wasn't sponsored yet, so I needed money. Yeah. And awesome. then I worked there for four years and realized I was there for four years and I went into the office immediately and quit. Mm, that's kind wow. of, you just well, had to do it. I just remembered, I, I was like, I could be here another four years. Let's get out of here. Mm. Let's go skate. I Good. didn't realize you were there for four years. Yeah, me, me neither. Damn. It was <laughs> eye-opening. You know what's funny as I'm looking at your cover here and I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm like thinking, I'm like, is that Hugh Grant? Hugh Grant. <laughs> no, because in the new Wonka movie, uh, <laughs> Hugh Grant plays a, yeah, the yeah, Oompa yeah. Loompa. Yeah, no, that's oh, not it. Wait a yes. minute. Yes. Hugh wow. Grant <laughs> plays an Oompa Loompa? How is this even possible? AI. Give it, give it Shut here. the hell up. So Why basically, they, doing, they take our arms and legs and then they CGI them onto <laughs> no, like they stars. Didn't. Yeah. No, they did it. On, on this, <laughs> you guys got a podcast I, now. You I have to do this street? all the time to this guy. He's I'm pulling like, the mic in front of him. <laughs> no, they, they've done it with tons of stuff, and that, really? that's kind of like what the um, the writers and actor strike was all about. Oh. Is like because one of the things that they're going to be able to do with actors if like they don't want to have them in the sequel, 
they can just have they can AI them because they already have like their images their and stuff. Wow! And they could just put them in the in, in the sequel and not pay them. They have and, the and rights not, and not pay them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But wow. do they have the rights to like their image or? Yeah, how, is that one, how it works? Once Sometimes. you do something, it's in the contracts now. Once you do something for any company, you're now that company owns your likeness. Likeness. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. That's yeah. why. That's why this strike went so big and gnarly. Yeah. And I and it's not like it's not one hundred percent like no, it can't do that. It, like. They they're big dogs. They, Did they yeah. figure anything out with that? It's been going on for a while. No, yeah, they figured it out. I I, I don't know quite like what the resolution is, like what they're gonna do. But it seemed like people were pretty happy. I with, thought like, it was a contract. writer's strike. It was a writer's strike, and then and it then, be, also became an actor strike. Mm-hmm. It was a hundred and forty four days writers, okay, and a hundred and sixteen days uh, actors. Like it was not. It's one of the longest ones. Yeah. Like for for this whole time. I mean, we own Jerron and Kelly's likeness now. We could just. <laughs> so you guys can. We can just leave. You can leave right now. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. We got to laugh. Yeah. I'm gonna. But choose you can still myself. pay me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but here's the funny part. Poncho went in a long time ago. There that's he not is. Me. That is not me. No, no, no. That's you, Grant. That's you, Grant. Hold on. Let me that's, you my, Grant. that's, that's, that's my dad. Oh, that's Hugh Grant right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, look at He's got the tiny fingers. But oh, that's wow. those are yours, Punch, because that's when you went in and did the casting where all they did. Whoa, 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 whoa. All they did was take video of Punch. And they're like, okay, we're good. We don't need you anymore. No, no, wow. no. Seriously? Yeah. No, uh, there was uh, an audition yeah. uh, for Snow White and the Huntsman in 2016. And it was like basically like a cattle call. And there were, um, and basically you had lines and stuff. But when you got into the room, they're like, we don't need you to read for it. We just, we're going to have my assistant here take video footage of like your arms and your legs, your torso. Wow. You know, your, 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 and, and then. I was like, but we're still gonna like, you know, get to audition for this. They're like, oh yeah, 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 you'll come back in, and they did that with like a lot of little people. And then the movie came out, and basically all the dwarves that were in it were all stars, but they had our body parts on them. Damn. What? Like, no way. And you guys weren't compensated or anything. No, like not that. at all. And it's like <clears throat> this this actor strike and writer strike happened, and it's like. Oh, when it happens to you guys, you give a shit. But when it happens oh. to us, I'm like, join the club, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> join the club, guys. Join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can swear. Yeah. But, but let me ask you a question, though, because wow. like, did they? Did you have the gloves on and the stuff, or did they use computers to get the gloves on? And oh, shit? Well, no, I didn't. I didn't even. They, they they already had images of little people for this because this is a newer okay. movie, right? Right. But like, no, I didn't have gloves on or anything. Okay, of that. I thought I thought you were well, you were just joking that it, this was actually him. We don't know. That. We don't know. We don't, we we don't, don't know, know where they got the you know. But Ponch went in there and you wow. know. Yeah. But you said that was first. You said it was Snow White. Snow White and the Huntsman, the one with Chris uh, Hemsworth and Kristen it? Stewart. So wait, did you have to like sign something in order to like? You I know. think we did, but like when you go to these things, it's like a cattle call yeah. and you're just in and out. But you, you think know? you're going to an audition? I thought I was going to an audition. I was ready. Damn, you know? they manipulated the fucking scenario, man. That's that is, crazy. That's foul. And, and so this, this is before like yeah. you kind of knew that that kind of stuff was happening. Oh, you were yeah. just a little confused. Like, that was yeah. weird. Like, <laughs> yeah. what just happened? So that's Damn. foul. That is dirty. Holy yeah. shit. But speaking of back then, like what I was going to say when mm. we met, it was. Big brother. Big brother. And it was like, okay, I'm going to call him. And we call him like, oh, yeah, let's hang out sometime. Uh-huh. And then the next time we got on a call, it was during, uh, remember Simon Woodstock? Hell yeah. And he had his like era time. Mm-hmm. I was skating for Sonic then. And he was like big in his van shoes. He's fighting people. And they were like, oh, you got to fight Poncho. Like, let's get Poncho on the phone. You got to fight him. Big Brother was saying this. No, uh, oh. this guy, Lance Delgar. We, okay. yeah. we already yeah. kind of had like a bit of a rivalry because I was in the East Coast. He was in the West Coast. Our, 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 our interviews came out and then it always became a thing of like, Who's better? Who's better? You or we, man? You know, it's just like going, who's better? You or Jerron? Yeah, like, that right. never happens, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, and, like, we were entering the same competitions with everybody else. So it, it, it was it was just, I, I didn't know why, like, that that was, like, so interesting to people. Like, why they wanted to know that. Why they wanted us to even have tension, mm. you know? And so one day I was like, I am, you know? 
but one of the interviews I'm like I am you know and then he caught wind of it and then he called me <laughs> and they they were setting up a boxing match before Mike Muir and Simon Woodstock and it was gonna be me and this guy wow. yeah right what? yeah yeah and I wussed out dude I was like there's no way I'm gonna fight this guy this guy will beat the <laughs> yeah like so then it was like ever since then and all that every interview was like Who's better, Poncho or Weeman? And it's like, what? There's nobody else in the skate industry that has to battle each other. Totally. You know? yeah. yeah. That's what and Big Brother does, though. It, yeah. yeah. They it, try to do that. It, they depict it, the little things that. In, it did you know. it like so much that it, it was. It sucked. But it wasn't it, only Big Brother because I had no, like was, other um, interviews in like uh, Skateboarder Mag and like mm, other mags. They would but always it, bring it up. always came, bring, mm -hmm. bring that up and like other stuff, you know? Like it was like my skateboarding. Wasn't interesting. Were enough. you at, were you pro at this time too? Yeah, yeah. you were pro. Yeah. Okay. Hawk What's versus Hasoy. Oh, it was totally a hawk versus. I've <laughs> I've said that too before. It's it was, all, and it's like why you know what I mean? Right. Like, especially. But they had something. They were in the same contest, yeah. battling each other. That it's yeah. that made sense. We weren't nowhere near each you other. Were on battling. different coasts. Yeah. 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 Yep, doing totally That's different things. Crazy. And uh But Big Brother brought it to light is what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Right. It, yeah. So whether or not that that just became a, a, something that followed you guys. Yes. Okay. And it sucks because later on in life, when we actually did meet and it, that that was squashed, it was like we could have maybe done something with this mm, if right. we would have collaborated. Yeah, like right. instead yeah, of you know ago, what I mean, yeah. a long time ago. Instead of battling it, joined forces. Joined forces, right? Yeah. Played and, into it and played into it. And I've learned a lot through life that instead of trying to just keep yourself like this, if you do have a group behind you, you can do more. Totally. For sure. And it would. I think we. You know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. I think together, if we would have done, it, we could have blown it up. Oh, 100%. percent. Yeah. I, I wanted to talk about the the, the Big Brother, yeah. the, the cover that I had, not the, yeah, yeah, not yeah. the blunt slide, this but one? that the front side nose slide. Yeah. That was shot by Spike Jones. Oh yeah, shit. yeah. Wow. Like before, he was like nice. like famous, before and Spike he Jones. yeah he, yeah, and he came out to New York. Mm -hmm. Like I think Big Brother set it up, and he came out to New York. And I went to New York City. I used to always go skate there with my buddy, Tim O'Connor. Oh, yeah. We and I went there with a bunch of my friends, and we met up. And this is actually called the Huff Ledge. Mm. And he had the cover of uh, Transworld doing a frontside nose slide across it, too. My frontside nose slide was way before that. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, but it was so still a, the Huff Ledge. It's a poncho you know? yeah, yeah. ledge. No, I, I, I <laughs> yeah. was just like, damn, it's man. a poncho no, ledge. We're, we're, it's we're the poncho <laughs> ledge. <laughs> was it a different angle that they shot from for Keith's photo? Keith? Keith was shot like from behind, like he was mm. going this way and they shot it. Oh, this okay, way. okay. It was it was so, rad. Like could, I, I, was it a, was it a cover? Excuse me. I yeah, yeah. It was a right. skateboard mag cover. Okay, maybe we could find Heat's. I think mine too. was kind of more. It looked like a comic book, so it didn't like really look as like mm. legit as like his. But yeah, so that was kind of fun. Heat's came out first. Yours came out second. No, but, no, oh, mine oh, came, came out first, and his came out a few years later, oh. and it was the Huff Ledge. But he was also a New York head. Yeah. yeah so he yeah. probably did tons of shit on that ledge, you know? Where, where, where did you grow up? Yeah. I grew up in um, Southern California. I grew up in like Palm Springs, Palm Desert area. Mm. And then as soon as like I got into high school, um, I moved to the East Coast, to New Jersey. Okay. And I lived in Parsippany, New Jersey, and in Morristown, New Jersey for like three years. Because you skated for Think. Did Think turn you pro? Yeah, I Think turned Were you pro. Uh, sponsored by anybody else on the East Coast? No, I wasn't sponsored. How did it you get sponsored by Think? If you guys are so sponsor me videos, really? Dude. Yeah, I figured you were just up in the in no, NorCal. It, it was it, no, it was sponsor me videos. I I remember making a uh, I I didn't even know about sponsor me videos and my buddies in Jersey that I skated with. They were like, dude, you gotta you know like there it is. There see, it is. see how oh, badass that's way thing. better. Oh, so you but couldn't even tell that it was mm. off the. I know it's the ones off the stairs. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't even tell in the in your yeah, photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just looks like a tall ledge. Yeah, and like, oh, no, that's yeah. it. It's actually start. It's like this tall, and yeah. then and then it gets taller. Yeah. 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 So the craziest story about that ledge too, when I went to New York out during that time, I went with Frank Gurrer and skated that. Mm. We went and skated for like three hours at that spot. He was trying to do a uh, fakey ollie, fakey five-o oh, yeah. okay. across like the gap, the three gap three. Mm -hmm. And we were there from like midnight till 3 a.m. I met Dimitri at that spot <laughs> and he pulled up and he's like, yo, dog, what's up? Like, you know, he rolls up in his little like Toyota Corolla. And I'm like, oh, hey. And my friend's like, and Frank was like, oh, that's Dimitri. 
before he even came to Big Brother oh, really? or wow. anything. Wow. He's just a gr- yeah. That's sick. So that's crazy that it's that spot. That's yeah. Two but different agree. covers. Two yeah. different covers. Two different dudes. Dude, no, something still connecting, happening. But, connecting at yeah. that. But Frank did land the fakey. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 I saw three, footage of it. I'm it like, took Holy shit. three hours. It was in a four and one, I think. Yeah, I think it was four one one. It was yeah. during four one one time. Yeah, that's awesome. But it was sick. He did. Wow. And just pop. It was so it was great. awesome. He was, was that when you skated for Simple or he skated for Simple? We both skated for Simple. Do you guys remember Simple? Oh, simple yeah. Shoes. Oh, yeah. yeah, we both skated for Simple yeah. Shoes. 100%. Yeah. That's how I met him. Okay. And then we brought Frank out to the West Coast and we scared him every day we were here because we were in LA and we're like, oh, we're going to Compton because there's, and he's like, well, we're going to call like, he was like freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it's so it, funny. Like it, people's interpretation it, of yeah. places. It's, so they, funny. It's, all, it's all news and movie. Based. Yeah. yeah. I think sure. if you're the, at least like when I lived in the East coast, like, and those movies came out, like I, I thought of Compton as like, I, I immediately like came to like boys in the hood. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that place is dangerous. <laughs> Cause there's like, plenty of spots in Compton. Yeah. That would skate. Of course, like, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Of Super chill. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Even when I was younger, and I'm from the Valley, like I had my little warped, you know, interpretation what mm-hmm. Compton mm-hmm. and South Central was as well. I mean, Men into <laughs> Society and these, these movies can, yeah, yeah. you know, put that in your in your head. Totally. You know. Yeah. What? Uh, who turned pro first? I did. Launch did. You yeah. did. Okay. Yeah, because he was. I was like, I couldn't find like. I don't know who if he was even on thing, but when I was on Sonic, mm. they just didn't have the boards I liked. Things weren't happening. We were mm. trying to make a video during the time, and it just never worked out. And that time, Ponch like got it going. He was in a right spot and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then I rode for like other things, and it it just wasn't it wasn't happening until okay. I got on Dogtown. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you weren't pro when you rode for Sonic. Uh, no. Just am, hmm. but we did go on tour and stuff. We did the forty day tour, and that was was that super a U.S. trip? Yeah, forty yeah. days in the U.S. Did you, forty did you, days in the U.S. is a long time. That's a yes. long time. did you guys on ever skate? How about hideout? Mm-hmm. I've yeah. been there. I never skated it. No, no. I never got to skate. I mean, yeah, it was that thing was big. It was tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like what well, things. This dude had a picture of Sonic guy doing a Sonic front side no slide down it. Front side no slide down it. That's super dope. And it was right after like somebody. I think Huff did it. Or somebody, somebody, Huff yeah. again with yeah. like, I know might have been, or I don't know who told me, and I'm like, I got this, and we were just skating. It was me, Tim Brosh, mm. and a couple other people, and I did it, and I'm like, oh, I need to go back and shoot a photo of it, and then Dalgart went, and I got the photo on it. Here's a here's nice. a photo right here. Yeah. yeah. There we oh go. wow, sick dude. Yeah. Can you zoom it in one more? No, or it's it's kind of grainy. Yeah, it's an yeah. old photo. That's rad. Bro. Damn, how many tries? I did. I landed it second try. Seriously? Yeah, when I first did it with no photo, uh, he filmed it, <laughs> and I landed it second try. <laughs> what? Why, why? Why was it just easy for you to skate or something? Like, I don't that thing was tall know. Shit? I know. I think that was chest high. Yeah. Yeah. I think for us at least, like a front side, no, like I don't know if it's the way our body structure or how, it? like, yeah, how like a front side nose side just works like mm. on tall things. But it, I think it's that for everybody. What I don't like is when p- people get up on a front nose and they're they're tilted. Uh, you got to be paired. Yeah, yeah no, you thing. need to be parallel. Yeah, you need yeah. to be like that. Like that, where you're, you can tell, like your back foot mm. yeah. is just holding yeah, your toes, yeah, your toes yeah. pushing are it. holding it just mm. to keep it like Moses Akonin. Yeah, pushing oh, yeah. it. Yeah, pushing yep. it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Moses Akonin. Right? I remember him. Legend, bro. So good. Bro. Legend, dude. He, he had the best front nose, I definitely. think. Um, did yeah. you guys ever have Keith Huffenagel on this? Mm-hmm. Really? We did, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's a good great episode. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. Pause. Pause podcast. Okay. I need to tell you guys that this episode is brought to us by Athletic Greens. Ooh, we love Athletic Greens. We do. This is gold in a box, right? Love this stuff. <laughs> With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and Kelly's favorite thing in the whole world, aptogens. I love there aptogens. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system. Your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. Well, not only that. Ooh, tell me, Drone. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, 
No nasty chemicals or artificial anything while still tasting good. Nothing budget, only nothing, buttery, right? Nothing budget, yeah, please. Yeah. But it also supports better sleep quality and recovery as well. Tons of people take multivitamins, but mm. it's important that you choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. And it's also better when you, you know, uh, not to have a full medicine cabinet full of, you know, supplements. Oh, man. You know, wait, wait so I can get rid of all my supplements? Yeah, I was just over at Kelly's house the other day, opened the cap, I was hit with supplements. Get the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> Throw them in there. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is just visit athleticgreens.com slash nine club. That's N-I-N-E-C-L-U-B. Again, athleticgreens.com slash nine club. Take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance today, there which is. is Athletic Greens. <laughs> Take over your health now. Um, you you mentioned uh, Tim O'Connor earlier. I remember seeing you guys together a lot in videos. Yeah. So did you meet him when you were a kid or just yeah, through skating? I, or? I met him and uh, when I first moved to the East Coast, um, I was uh, a freshman in high school and I didn't know any skateboarders. And usually like we moved around a lot. And what my mom would do is like I would just look up like the nearest skate shop and she would just drop me off there. And then I would just skate around there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I met him. It was at mm -hmm. the skate shop called, uh, it was in Morristown called Psycho Skates. Mm -hmm. And there was a train station there that had stairs and stuff. And I met him and a bunch of my other East Coast buddies and like kind of we became good friends. And they loved me because every house in the East Coast has a basement. Mm -hmm. And I like on my own built this like skate park in my basement <laughs> like a dope like ledges like oh, hips what? it wasn't like <laughs> it, was, it wasn't mini like i had tall ceilings yeah. and so these uh tim and like a bunch of my friends came to my house and it became like our training facility for the winter okay oh. and so we would we would skate during the winter while everybody else was like on a break and then when springtime would come along again, we would just be ahead of everybody. Mm, People were yeah. like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> How'd you learn there was no yeah. indoor yeah. parks yeah. in the winter. There was a few, but they were really far away. Like we used to go to Newburgh Skate Park, which mm. was like a couple hours away, upstate New York. And then we used to go to the playground, which was a great skate park. That's where like Jim Greco and Tim Upson came up at. Mm. But that was like three hours away. And we were like freshmen in high school. Like all that shit is just too far. Yeah, you know, that's, yeah. a, that's a mission, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So we just built our own thing, and we were able to like kind of keep up. And That's so sick, your folks are down for it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Do you have any footage of that uh, of it? At all? I don't. I I used to have footage yeah. of it. I wish I still did. Yeah. Like so many of my friends, like learned like so many tricks there. Like it, it was really really cool to watch. Like the progression of everybody. Yeah. Like just from skating like in a little basement, like a little training facility. I love that. That's how you need sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And one Legend of the a flat bar or something, <clears throat> like a bank ramp. Easy. And one of the things that like inspired that was like the the skate park that they had out here. It was like it was like in Love Child, the the, the video Love Child. Oh, the whole oh, yeah, park. Because yes. yeah, 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 yeah. it was small, it looked yeah. small in video. I'm like, I want something like that yeah. down here, and we We're, were able to build damn. something like that. It, just you and the homies built it, or I built it, and then it just uh, once they 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 joined, like we were able to like make everything better uh, and maintain it, and you know. Same. Wait, it, you're saying it was that big or you wanted it something that big? <laughs> no, no, I was saying like our my basement was huge. Like yeah. and I and that park like on video it looked like a small park. So right, I was yeah. like that, no, it was, it was that, fairly big. That, okay. that park yeah, was yeah. huge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it but it looked it inspired you. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So uh, we were able to like kind of keep up and it was fun, you know. That's How did sick. you, you know, going back to the Think thing and you just you just sent in a sponsor me tape to mm -hmm. Think. Yeah. And they were like we're down. Who did you talk to, Greg Carroll? <laughs> no, I didn't talk to anybody. I, my friends were like, let's make a, a, a video, okay. a, 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 a sponsor me tape, we'll make it for you, and uh, and then uh, we'll put it together for you, and then you send it out. I was like, all right, let's do it. I made a sponsor me tape like within like a month or two, you know, and then I sent it to Spitfire, I sent it to World, I sent it to Think Skateboards, and then I sent it to uh, Thunder Trucks. And, um, Covering, World. All, covering all the bases. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wheels. Game, dude. That's, what, that's what you did. You and basically, all of the companies that I sent it to, like, hooked me up. Uh, World was the first one that hooked me up, but it was like a weird thing. It was like more like a Big Brother thing, like like a, like a handicap team kind of thing. It was like, it was really strange, but I was getting free shit. And then, uh, 
and then like the big East Coast contest came along at the Brooklyn Banks and all mm-hmm. that. There was the, the playground at Newburgh, and me and my buddy Tim went to all of them. And uh, during that time, in between that was when I got on World or mm. whatever, Big Brother. Uh, that's when they sent Spike Jones to shoot photos of me. That's where you got the cover. Yeah. Mm. So when this contest was happening, these contests, that mag was the one that just came out. Oh. So I was like, yeah. you are with <laughs> the, with the cover, shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, and I didn't know, you know, yeah. like this was new to me. And so that's when Greg Carroll came up to me and he's like, did you send a video to Think Skateboards like six months ago? I was like, yeah, dude. And and then that's when we started talking because things with the world was kind of, or, or Big Brother was kind of like kind of fading away. It was weird. But that's not even a, that's just a magazine. Yeah. yeah. It's not even exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I just, uh, so I got on thinking at that same contest, Ruben Orkin, who ran Spitfire and ran Thunder Trucks mm. at the time, he's like, did you send a video? To, I'm like, yeah. Okay. And okay. he hooked me up on, bo- uh, on, uh, on Spitfire and, 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 uh, and Thunder. And I, I, it was. This is all happening at the Brooklyn Bank co- Banks contest. It was all happening there at right these at the, contests. Wow. Yeah, That's and so I I managed to like get sponsored, and then things like changed like drastically. I bet you know. I, was, bet. I was really young, and I was like a like a freshman in high school getting hooked up like this was it was insane to me. So yeah. were your think parts like that was uh, who was filming those back then? Those were you some- just sending them footage? Well, there was a, a video called Another Day on the Range, which was yep. a lot, yep. and a lot of the footage in that video, because I rewatched it. They spelled yeah. your name wrong, by the way. Yeah, they spelled my name wrong. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, a lot Did of they put P-O? All, all this footage. Yeah, hey, is, all this footage is from my sponsor me tape. That's from your sponsor yeah. me tape. Yeah, gotcha. and that's like me, Tim, and like we just put shit together. And what year did this come out, by the way? Do you um, remember? Probably like around nineteen ninety six or something, yeah. No, I don't know. I I, I think it was just friends. That like was I a said, dragger. Was, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, back in those times, you kind of take what you can get, you know. Dude, the switchback heels, yeah, man, so good. Yeah, those dude. down. For yeah. some reason, like 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 heel fr- flip tricks for me, like backside. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Like we're really mm, easy. Wait for a yeah. Did you land the switch though? especially? Yeah. Or? Switch especially because you're landing. Going oh, forward. he hands down. Yeah. You know? yeah, I mean, yeah, there, yeah. there's a little pal magic in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little hey, pal magic dude. in where, there. Where Fine. was AI when you needed it? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. There's the a... EMB. So you made you were making your way out to the West Coast. We weren't too. as crucial back then, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I, I made my way out. That's when I was uh, staying with Greg Carroll and okay. Mike Carroll oh, in Daly City for a little bit. And it was crazy these times. And Phil, oh, Phil Shaw, Shaw, too. Man. I say with Phil Shaw. Oh, wow. That's, um, and I remember being at Embarcadero, so like being this so young good. and like some bad shit going on where yeah, like yeah. some like person that's not a logo comes and starts shit and then mm-hmm. all the skaters just yeah, fucking em. jump them. Right. They don't it was not, they, they did at. not, they did not mess around, mm-hmm. dude. Damn. I felt fun, like fun at that time just because I had the pass. You know oh, what I mean, dude. just knowing everybody <laughs> and just seeing how they really got down, it was like if you're not like really knowing these dudes, you can't come in through acting like weird and shit. I mean, you mm-hmm. had a pass yeah. too. Nope. Yeah, I, I had a pass, but not because did. I skated for Think, but like because I was with Greg Carroll and mm-hmm. he was yeah, kind sure. of scary, mm-hmm. like, yeah. yeah, like intimidating. At least he was like the big brother to everybody, you know. For sure. Mm. But um, it was it was really cool, like kind of like being in those times. And I remember, Jaron, when your video came out, and then I met you. I'm like, this is like the cream of the crop right here Mm -hmm. right here like 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 what video um, ftc video ftc FTC, but like there was other like it must have been goldfish or something but like yeah yeah, like just you being on girl but also like the tricks you were doing everyone was so ahead of everybody like your guys's videos were always like stepping up and taken to the next level right well, this world that, is this a world video? This is finally an FTC video. Oh, fi- yeah, that this is, is yeah, this good. is it. Yeah, but, but then all your time, other man. video parts like that came out were just fucking insane. Well, because back then Thanks, it was bro. just like you, we we didn't have anything to see that was just um, except for what was around us, yeah. and then these videos would come out, and we'd be like, oh, 
Oh God, I gotta step it up, man. I always feel like back then, like you would look forward to like skate parks. Hundred percent. You know, yeah. you're like, oh God, I can't Big wait. Time. Yeah, there's a world sure. park. There's a small world park. The world park was. Uh, I that was my dream to skate that place though. I never got to skate it. That shit was no, so Why was it? Uh, was it not around again? It was again? awesome. Yeah. No it, it just, it, dude, it wasn't around that long. It seemed like it was around long, but it, it was it, it was a short period of time, bro. Like what? Like three years? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Max. If that, if that. I don't think if three. That, I yeah, think I maybe think. two. Maybe yeah. two strong. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, there was some times, man. There was some crazy skating went down during that. Mm. Yeah. What did Remember you one Sorry. dude, the surfer skater dude? Who rode for who rode for world for a little? Josh Casper. No, yeah. that's rollerblade. <laughs> rollerblade. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who? Sure. Jed Walters. Jed Walters. Jed. Mm. Yes. He would. Dude. He even slept there for for a little while. There was a lot of dudes that, that used to slept sleep there. there for yeah. sure. There they were had bunk beds and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Um, when you went to out uh, west to go see like San Francisco area, did you? Stop going to high school? Did you just come out here to skate, or did you just? No, it was board? during the summer, so oh, okay. I got to go, and it was like my summer thing. And then I went back to school. Yeah, hmm. and uh, so you said you 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 got sponsored when you were a freshman. Yeah, and so you would go back and forth for a couple years. Yeah, damn, that's gnarly. Yeah, did yeah, you? yeah, and then they would come out there too, like you know. Oh, cool, cool. But yeah. I didn't really go on my first skate tour until like later on because i got kicked off think the first time what happened mm. um the think, first time no like no. i when i i got kicked off think tw once and that was um i uh Were you it, it was or something? no 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 i was like in um at emb and i was hanging out with all those guys and carl watson and the twins and safa and like a bunch of other dudes and we were all the homies you know and they started a skate company called clean Mm, and I, I, I and at the time i don't know if you remember but like at the time um think skateboards was like like very known for like hessian like hessian kind of like wider boards okay, like yeah. and i just wasn't into that because i was like a hundred percent like just like street skater lead skater like just that smaller like things a fresh type what of year like, is this uh, i guess, I guess I we, we have a Year, ba uh, what, what so year like ninety two, ninety three. Yeah, yeah, probably like, 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 yeah, yeah, like ninety three. So the small boards are are right. At, I mean, seven fives. Yeah. So I'm skating in. with all these dudes that have small boards, but I'm only able to get like big boards. So like, I what was happening was I was trading my big boards for smaller boards, oh. and that's kind of like that's a, that that's a that's no -no. not cool. That's not, that's a no no. Especially and, in SF. And, and, yeah, and it right, bummed right. Greg out, and like you know, it just kind of I, I learned my lesson you know I, I i i got i i got fired and and then i it just kind of fueled me to like kind of get better and okay. like fucking like figure myself out did you then get back on did you just talk to him how did you get back on um well i just all, all, i just started skating like a lot more okay. and um I was kind of riding Tim O'Connor's coattails, kind of like Eastern Expo Exposure mm. came out, like, and he was traveling everywhere, and wherever he would go, I would go with him. Hmm. And so, um, and I, and um, I wasn't like into drugs or any of that stuff. I was just full on, hundred percent skateboarder, and I loved those days. And what happened was, uh, I was down. Um, we 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 Tim O'Connor went and stayed with Reese Forbes and. Dan Wolf, who was a filmer mm. at, uh, in uh, Orange County, and I went with them, and Lance Dawes came down. And Lance was from San Francisco, you know? And he came down, shot photos, and he went back up north, and he was friends with Greg, and he's like, dude, I just skated with Tim and Ponch, and Ponch is like killing it, dude. Like, wow, you know? And he showed him some photos and stuff. Okay. And that's when Greg called me and was like, hey, dude, like, um, let, let's squash everything. I would love for you to ride for Think Again. And uh, we're going on a U.S. tour. Do you want to come? Wow. Well, that's awesome. And I was like, uh, I don't know. Let me think about it. <laughs> yeah, right. I swear. And my, what, were you, what was there to think about? Were you getting boards from somebody else? I thought it was a joke. You know, you don't know. Like, oh, you, you, you oh, kind of fuck Greg this guy over, you right, know? Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. and so I was like, well, and then Tim and, like, uh, Dan and Reese were like, dude, what are you doing? The U.S. tour? So that's when I got back on Think, and that was like at the end of high school. 
are you were you trying to get on any other company? You're skating with Tim O'Connor. I mean, um, I tried to get on Element. I okay. tried to get. They just weren't feeling me. You know, like it, 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 it's fine. You know, right, was, right, 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 like right. I was like Kobe Bryant, just meant to like skate for one team. For <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like <laughs> wow, Kobe Bryant. That's yeah, well, he's tight. a Lakers guy. You know, yeah, like, never, like, never went to another team. Yeah, yeah. like I, I did try like during that time, but it was just mm. you know. I don't think you fucked Greg over by any means based on you wanting to skate different boards. I think it could have been a simple conversation like, hey, dude, can you Absolutely. make some smaller yeah, boards? Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm digging these. You yeah, know? and then even like later on in life, uh, uh, when I got back on Think and they were making like smaller boards, but like not just like boards that everyone skated, but like a custom made board for me yeah. that was even smaller. Uh, that's when I learned 360 flips, you know, and I was like, oh, I needed a small oh, board to right, do this. Right. Because I didn't learn 360 flips until like later on in my skate career. Oh, really? And it was one Did of my favorite tricks. Did the wheelbase get, uh, was my, it the, the wheelbase? The board base? would just get tangled in my legs like a longer board. <laughs> so it, it just. Because <laughs> 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 I know that feeling. Because <laughs> I totally, yeah, I had to ride smaller boards too. Yeah. And the funny thing was when I got on Sonic, uh -huh. Right before I got on Sonic, that's what I was saying. Like it, I was just shuffled through the wrong ones. They came out like, "We got the biggest wheelbase ever." Oh, yeah. That's what we're, and I'm like, "Really? This is the company I just got on?" <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude. <laughs> yeah. What did you, what size boards you guys skate? Seven five was seven five, but with like probably board. a fourteen inch wheelbase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. yeah. What I always was, had what, the same size nose and tail as a regular board, okay. just the wheelbase was shorter. Yeah, what do you know what the wheelbase was that you that I don't was know like what, perfect like for what's you? a normal wheelbase? 14. 14. 14 it's probably like a 12.5 or something. Oh, wow. like it was, it was a shorter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And it was funny because uh at one time, do you guys remember a skater by the name of Sean Payne? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking tall great. ass dude. Yeah, tall ass skater. Mm -hmm. Me and him would oh he skated for thing too, and they would always send me and him on tour together. Oh, that's amazing. Like it was <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he was so good. We talk about him a few times in the show before, but he he was incredible. He was really good yeah. and he would he would skate on my board because he said skateboarding was just all footwork. So he would just like do crazy tricks on my board, not, not like handrails or anything. There this we go, yeah, uh, or anything like that. But like three sixty flips, not like double flips, like just. Uh -huh. And it was just all on his toes. It was really uh -huh. cool yeah. to watch, like yeah. when people figure it out like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you guys are obviously shooting an ad right there, probably. Yeah. I would assume. Damn. That was Sean. pretty big. Was six, he was six something. He was, a, I think, a couple inches taller than Ron Whaley, who at wow. one point yeah, was the, the tallest time. skateboarder yeah, out there. It's interesting. The taller you get, the the it's hard to look good on a skateboard when you're that <laughs> tall. Dudes you know what did. I mean? Certain, Certain dudes, dudes did. Hundred percent. He, he was one of them. I feel <laughs> like Sean was one of those dudes that figured out Ooh. how to use his height to his advantage. Right. right. Yeah. Like as far as like everything was really small for him, whereas. For a lot of people, especially me, it was really, really tall, tall and high. Right. Dude, you see that yeah. new basketball or the new dude on San Antonio? Oh my gosh, he's, he's like insane, seven man. four, seven, but he he's still like, growing, still growing. He's oh like, what, what is he like? Eighteen? No, twenty. I think he just turned nineteen. So is that Marfans? Is that what it's called? Marfans? We had a, a we interviewed a dude who's really tall. Who has yeah. Marfans? And it's called Marfans, like when you're like extended, like your joints extend and oh. like you just keep super growing. skinny, super skinny, super skinny. Yeah. Like, yeah. super yeah. athletic. It's, Super it's, athletic. It's a, uh, it's the opposite of us, and and uh, and they they have a high metabolism. Mm -hmm. They can eat all day long, mm -hmm. whatever they want. Doesn't affect play ball, do whatever, and uh, yeah, keep growing. No yeah. way. Yeah, we had this dude. We had a, the dude on our podcast, and he was gigantic, really? but super skinny. How did you get him on the podcast? Did you just hit we him just, up? Yep. He's a he's Straight a stand up, up comedian. His name is Taylor the Great, and okay. uh, our friend that's part of like the Deaf Noodle spot. There you are, Deaf Noodle. We plugged you in. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, great spot, but uh, <laughs> she's one of the people that that knew him, and she was like, "You guys should have him on." Okay. And this is his deal, and we we're like, "Yeah, let's do it." Sick. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got a little pot, little revolution going on. Yeah, over there, huh? <laughs> we do. Yeah. Yeah. We're changing the world. Okay. One, one guest at a time. One guest just, at a time. Just a little bit at a time. <laughs> How did you, <laughs> is that the, mo that's the motto? That's the, how did you guys uh, meet up to do that? What was the... Uh... Ponch and I have, for a few years now, but, well, I'd say 10. Yeah. A little over 10 years. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Ponch was working for Monster Energy when I was sponsored by Monster Energy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Monster would send me out on trips to go do appearances and stuff like that. And I kind of finagled them. I'm like, I'm going to make this fun. And I said, well, if I'm going places, Ponch works for you guys. I always want him coming along with me. Okay. So Ponch and I would go out on tour <laughs> and just cause a scene for a while. <laughs> I mean, so we were already changing the world a little bit back yeah. then. <laughs> Being a single guy and going on a trip with this guy is oh fucking great. God, that. It's great. That. That's so good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just, we had a blast. And, and right then I was like, this sucks because we could have been doing this a long time right, ago. Right, right. How and many years ago was this? Sorry to interrupt. This was at like least 14 years 14 ago. 14 years, years ago. ago. We started so you, doing this. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. Got what were you it. doing working at Monster? I was kind of like, they, the, the the position was called Monster Ambassador. Oh, okay. Mm. It's just guerrilla marketing because Monster, for the longest time, they didn't like advertise with billboards or, or anything like that. So what they did was they had these trucks that were wrapped in the Monster emblem, and we would drive to different areas of Los Angeles mm that had high volume foot traffic. And we had these coolers in the back that just had endless supply of monster, like 30 cases and they're iced up and we just give them to people. Gotcha. Get them hooked, get, yeah. get them hooked, give it, give it to them for free. Right, right. Okay. first one's free. Yeah, and we did, uh, uh, and, we, <laughs> and that's kind of like, the, the the way they advertise, which is kind of brilliant, you know, mm-hmm. like it's kind of similar to Red Bull. Red Bull has yeah, like, yeah, Red yeah. Bull was doing it too. Yeah, 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 yeah they, they, were doing. they put them at events and shit. Yeah, too. Red Bull always had like super hot chicks doing yeah. it. Yeah, you know? we're like <laughs> yeah. Monster <laughs> had punch. <laughs> I'm like, I can't compete with this. <laughs> but you know, it's funny just thinking about it right now, Punch. Majority of your day jobs was driving around town, yeah. swindling people. What do you mean swindling? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I was giving so, this stuff out. Oh, you're talking yeah, about the other guy. No, but you're still like, you're like, hey, here's a free one. And then they're going to like be hooked and saying, buy it man. now. It's a, push, yeah. you're the it's, it's a swindle. It's, pusher, yeah. pushing it's the, a swindle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was but definitely you, pushing the caffeine. But you were driving around swindling other stuff too. Mm. Mm. Punches, punches. It, I've had driving. some really crazy jobs. Like after like, I don't know about you guys, but like. Well, some of you guys are still professional skateboarders and then you're doing this, but like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just knew that I didn't want to work in a skate shop mm. or, or do or do that route. Okay. Not because I, I'm better than it or anything. It just <laughs> wasn't, I, I just, I don't know. Your cup yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I feel the same way, man. <laughs> yeah. We can 100%. all be skateboarders and don't want to work in a skate shop. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so I, you know, I, I, I went to college for like a year. I didn't really have that like education or like, you know, that degree. So I had like a bunch of different jobs. And one of my jobs was I, I found this job like through a friend and basically there was a warehouse in in the Valley where we would go and they had vans there, like creepy vans. And they and they had like vans speakers. with like seats in them, like generic the white speakers, ones, the white vans, like generic speakers in there. And we would drive up yes. to people with the speakers and be like, "Hey, what's up, dude? Like, <laughs> we just we had an extra had order. Yeah, yeah, like our boss doesn't know about it. We got extra ones. I'll sell it to you for super cheap, dude. You know? I bought speakers. <laughs> I off have of too. Them. I probably bought it some off I you. I have too, bro. Real yeah, time. And, and sometimes they would go set up, but they weren't like generic where they didn't work. They just were like an off brand. They worked fine, but it was like such a hustle, and it wasn't stable. And if you didn't sell anything, how, you're just paying for gas and driving around like annoying. Sure. People. How would you get paid in this situation? Would they give it to you and then you just take a cut? From you would get around? like I think it was like fifty dollars for each speaker set. Okay, so, so you if, knew you had to sell it for X amount of money to make some money yourself. Yes, but you were also working with a partner, right. so it's like one of those things where it's like if we can make two hundred dollars, like two two hundred dollars each today. Okay, okay. You know, and so did you guys sell a lot of them? Sometimes, yeah. yeah, and sometimes no. Just random I, people, bro. Yeah. You, I you bought random. speakers what? like you, that. You pull up, like, there's like hundred <laughs> percent. There's like, people, this. Bro. There's like strategies random. to it. You're like pulling up to people like that are walking out of the bank. People yeah. going to the ATM machine. People, people that are getting <laughs> gas. You know, yeah. like just. You just I think open, I got pulled, you just open the yeah, truck, and, like, yo, check these out. And you pull up to a dude that's got like a super nice car with a, like a, a, a good like like stereo system, and you pull up to him and you like open the van. They're, those guys are like, oh, yeah. Um, no, you're like, really? I could sure. get these for like half or like a quarter of, of like what I would pay in the store for them. Yeah. Um, right. 
But they were an off brand though. I, was a, I was, bought some and I don't sketchy. even. It was sketchy. I don't even remember. <laughs> Look, this is the van you drove right here. Discount speakers. <laughs> <laughs> that one might have been a little oh too God. new. Yeah, that's a new. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a newer version. Yeah, yeah it was like. Yeah. One of them, like it, it wasn't that nice. Cargo yeah. van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The creepy one. Yeah, the, 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 the you want candy one. That's the one. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. We didn't have windows. <laughs> but this is all after you were done skating. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was done skateboarding. Like at least. My skateboard career ended when, uh, right before I moved to, because um, I used to live in San Jose and San Francisco area, the Bay Area, for pretty much th throughout my whole skate career because that's where all the companies that I skated mm -hmm. for were. And yeah. those places were super dope to skate. I had a lot of friends there. But um, my skateboard career ended and it was tough. And so I wanted something completely different. So I moved down to LA with, a uh, girlfriend that I was dating at the time. And I just, you know, it, it, it I just kind of hustled, grinded. Yeah. Like I worked at the Saddle Ranch on Sunset. I worked selling speakers out of a van. I did birthday parties dressed as fucking Yoda. <laughs> and like, <laughs> where I got the shit beat out of me by little kids and lightsabers. And I was Whoa. like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah, right. Wow. I, I, give it, you would be like, what? the birthday I am here. <laughs> yeah, what would you? Huh? No, no I, I was terrible at it. You wore a mask. And uh, what happened was I showed up. It was a, a company called Celebration Entertainment. And basically, um, they hired different actors of different statures to mm -hmm. like come and like, you know, do birthday parties for these super filthy rich people for their kids. And you would go dressed as Disney characters or just different characters, Star Wars characters. And I went to a Star Wars party and like the Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader that I work with on the company, like were sick that day. So I worked with some from a different company and we were there and the, the, the Darth Vader was like, all right guys, if you want to join the dark side, you all have to get Yoda. You know, and they they had lightsabers, what? and they just start whacking me with these lightsabers. Yeah, right. And I'm like, oh. I can barely see, like, wow. And I was like, this job sucks. Dude, well, fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck Darth Vader's yeah. ass. Yeah. Hit Darth Vader. But uh, yeah, so it was a bunch of different jobs, and then I found Monster Energy, which was mm. kind of like more tamed in a sense that you're not stuck in an office. It was really good money yeah. and like you're driving around like hollywood and los right. angeles like you could even like i had friends that like skated and we that worked with me and we would go to like skate parks you know oh, and, perfect like, fuck off for a little bit and then yeah. you know get back to work but it was definitely you know it's not the job you want yeah. did you yeah. exit skateboarding was i because you had back problems too yeah. right was that part of the issue of, of going skating or what, what what was the what was the driving issue uh like retiring or not not skating professionally anymore um well did think was it think going uh going under or i had like a lot of addictions mm. you know through and it kind of took over where like skate it was it, it came before skateboarding okay. and it never was that way before like i i i, I it was all about partying and the rock star lifestyle okay. and kind of just drinking and fucking doing blow and just doing things that weren't good for you, especially if like you're like me. And uh, I kind of got caught up in that and mm. I, I kind of lost my love for skateboarding. And, okay. Damn. and when I moved to Los Angeles, it was even crazier because that's when like you, like that's like the real party lifestyle. Yeah. And I, it just kind of took over, man. And I, I don't have any regrets. I definitely learned from it, but it, it, it's, I, the only thing I regret is like kind of like, losing the passion that I had at one point for mm -hmm. skateboarding, like the thing that like gave me the most joy, like in my life, you right. know? And um, so once that took over, uh, yeah, I- uh, Easy to get caught up in. And I got mm -hmm. caught up in it. And then like, I, I just wasn't getting skateboards or anything. Mm -hmm. And skateboards are like expensive if you try to buy them. Hell yeah. And all my friends were like, I just wasn't hanging out with the right friends, but all my friends were like that. So it just kind of, it kind of sucked. And mm. then one, about 10 years ago, no, like 12 years ago, I, uh, I was at this nightclub called Hyde and we, uh, we, uh, we, 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 we were partying, got drunk and on, on the way uh, out, 
the I had a like a Dodge Charger at the time, and I don't even understand how like the valet gave me the keys to the car, but I was barely able to stand. So my my friend, who's about your size, he's like, "I'll drive you home. I'll okay. drive us home. I'll get us home safe." But he was really tall, and my car has pedal extensions in it. <laughs> so he was like oh. driving. He was driving my car with like his knees, like <laughs> at his like chin, you know. And when you're driving like that, you don't just use your foot; you tend to use your your entire leg. Yeah. So we're going home, and we go around this corner. Instead of like slowing down, he presses the gas, and we fly around the corner. And he drives my car into a furniture store, oh into my. the wow. store, oh my into God. the store, and um, and then he ran. And then my other friend that was in the backseat ran. They made sure I was okay, but they ran. And luckily, I didn't get charged because I had a seatbelt mark, like a gnarly seatbelt from the passenger seat. And I just was like, I, I really, I don't know who drove. Like, I was so intoxicated okay, okay. that, like, wow. it kind of ended up working out for me. But wow. a few months after that, like, when you get in an accident like that, like, you don't really feel the pain. You're so in shock that your body doesn't really, like acknowledge like what just happened and a few months later like i was in the shower and like i coughed wrong like i was while well, i was bending for something and then my and then every all the pain just started shooting down my legs oh. and it was a slow process and then it came up my other legs and then it got to the point where i couldn't stand on my tippy toes anymore like and my laminectomy was just like my lower spine was just crushed. Oh my god! So you I didn't even uh, notice this no, until you a didn't month notice. later. Yeah, like three months later. Oh, yeah. What? Okay. And that's when like skateboarding was just completely done. Out of like, the picture. Yeah, for yeah sure. out of the picture. You will never skateboard again. And wow. that's and that's the <clears throat> kind of like regret I have as as far as like like man, I made some really bad choices. But, uh, yeah, you but know, you like, can't, you know, no, you, you can't. But like, at, at the same time, like, sometimes I would go to watch my friends skate mm. uh, at like a uh, Beebles Park. I would always go and watch Stefan skate and fuck, man, I missed it so bad. Like, right. you just miss it, you know? Did you, yeah, I mean, obviously you've had like multiple surgeries. I've had back. three, three, three third surgeries. We have the, uh, you posted on your Instagram. Yeah. You have the back. Wow. I mean, they really opened you up, man. Yeah, what kind of surgeries like are you getting? It's a laminectomy and then two fusions. Uh -huh. And fusions, they, they basically put these titanium plates in your back to kind of like stabilize your spine so you can't really bend too well. Oh. And then, and with the laminectomy, like um, they kind of do a decompression. They did that on him too, mm -hmm. but his actually worked out. Mine, mine didn't. It, it, we just had different symptoms, and mine was just way worse. Was that from a back injury we met? Yeah, I was skating, and I was at uh, Stoner Park. Okay, and I did something, slammed, and my fifth vertebrae slipped out, and it even touched my tailbone, and I had to go and like. It, it like popped back in, but it was a little off and you have a lot of uh, main arteries that go through your back. Mm -hmm. And so I could you walk after this. Oh, like I could you, walk. You're good. Okay. Um, not, not I bad. wasn't as bad as punch, but I had like a, I had a foot that like wouldn't bend and I was like, okay, I need something. Something's up. I need to go check. And I'm like the kind of person I don't like dealing with doctors at all. And I did a lot of research on doctors. I called Knoxville for one. I even went to his guy and I was like, I just had this sketchy feeling about it. And I'm like, uh-uh. Because -uh. I'd already seen what Paunch went through. <laughs> okay. And I was like, no, I'm going to wait till I feel very comfortable, find the right person that knows what they're doing. Mm. And I found this lady in Torrance. And she goes, oh, I know what's up. We're going to do something very small. We're going to give you a cut like about this big. We're going to cut keyholes in. It's going to open up your back and everything's going to be fine. I went and did it and I called Ponch and I go, Ponch, you need to go to this lady. Ponch saw me like go through the whole process and then heal and be back skating. Mm -hmm. wow. And I was like, Ponch, go. Okay. And so he called her and she's like, well, we can, you know. She goes. I don't know what happened before you got the you know. Yeah, the that, that was. Uh, I went to his person uh, for my second surgery. Okay. And uh, I think my back was already so messed up. There was no like recovering from. Because it's still like yeah. the first surgeon mm. did a lot of stuff back then. Yeah. So the second time. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. Is and this a common injury for the back? Is it? I mean, it's just basically for a little people. Disc? It is. Oh, it's, really? So if you notice, Poncho and I sit the same height as you. Okay. Yep. You know what I mean? 100%. So if, if people look at us, they're like, "Oh, you guys are the same height." Couple dudes. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's just our limbs that are small. Uh huh. So our bodies carry a lot of weight for different things especially for us so okay. our backs get a lot of everything they and hold, like they so, hold a lot of weight yeah, yeah. And like definitely the wear and tear of that like my back took through skateboarding sure sure like so, didn't, i mean it didn't help but like i wasn't like aware that like that was a, a condition yeah. for little people to have like be prone to having like chronic back surgery you know oh. and it's not for everyone but yeah most and really? i kind of I fell under that which which sucks, but one door closes, another one opens. So I mean, after that, you I mean, you got sober and all that stuff, yeah, or did you? Because like you went into acting, yeah. Like I got started. sober probably like nine years ago, um, but like I stopped smoking weed like fifteen years ago, mm. and uh, one of the things with uh, and, <coughs> and and that's kind of when I I put like. I'm like, if I'm gonna do this acting thing, I gotta go all the way in, and that's one of the beautiful things about skateboarding, is um, the discipline you get from it, like when you're trying a trick over yeah. and over again, and you keep going, and then if, until you fucking land it, and your friends are rooting for you, and all that, and that's kind of like the same discipline, like I apply like to mm. like everything in my life now, which Amazing. which is really cool because that's one of the things that my wife says is like one of the th you're so determined. That when you really want something, you kind of get it done, you know. Nice, yeah, no that's awesome. Yeah. What's in your way, but like that, yeah. So with that, I uh, started going to the actor studio, which is like a, a pretty like well-renowned acting mm -hmm. place. Al Pacino came out of there, James Dean, Robert De Niro, Marlon Brando, and I uh, I became Pancho a Moeller. yeah, and I became <laughs> a, um, and I just went a hundred percent to this place and put like everything I could into it. And if you get in there you get free acting classes for the rest of your life. You know, it's an acting How do you classes. get in there? What do you mean? You have to take that, you have to do the, pass the audition. Okay, so you pass the, how does this place make money then if they're just giving free lessons It's like lessons a non-profit. Oh, really? Yeah. And they, they also make their money, I think, through maybe Pace University because that was like, Pace University uh, had like a program uh, for the actor's studio out of there. Like, remember like, uh, the, the show I forgot what it was called. Yeah, bro. James Lipton. Yeah, the James yeah, Lipton yeah, show yeah, that yeah. was fr from oh, that people was from the actor studio, but out of Pace University. Mm. Um, but uh, so I I did my audition. I became a um, a working finalist, which means that like you're able to work with just lifetime members there and put up work, um, which is great. And then you get feedback from like some of like the best actors in the world. Wow. And and then and then I and then you, every year for, uh, when you're a working finalist, there, there's always a final audition, mm -hmm. and uh, to become a lifetime member or or stay a finalist. And I stayed a finalist for like five years, and finally, um, I finally like the last year that um, Martin Landau was alive, like rest in peace. Like he he was our teacher, our mentor. Uh, I became a lifetime member through him. And so now I can go to classes in New York City Anytime. and here, and like it's 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 a pretty big deal, at least for me. Sure, method actors are known to be difficult. I don't try to be difficult, <laughs> you know. Like um, you're difficult, yeah, <laughs> you're difficult. But uh, I got a lot of respect for that place, and I learned a lot, and it, it, awesome. it's really really helped me. You know? What happens in a class there? Like, what, what do you guys just get topics and try to act things is it, out? Yeah, yeah, to to build on that, is yeah. it is it freestyle? Is it like no, or no, is it no, scripted? That's, that's improv. Like, like, yeah. it's basically you're doing scenes from plays. Okay. Classical plays, contemporary plays, like doing one act scenes. And they're, uh, and then you're putting up this work, like, uh, and using the method that, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, effective memory, like, you know, sense memory, like, things that, like, that take you to a place that, like, a lot of people, like, don't want to go to, like, dark places, you know? And that's one of the things with the actor studio. Hmm. If you're in that, does that make it like a better opportunity to get jobs anywhere out, out there? Honestly, I thought it would. It definitely, it, it's, it's, it could, I guess. Yeah. It, it really hasn't for me, but what it's taught me is like how to be a professional on set 
and 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 be able to build relationships with people and just keep working. Mm, okay. Yeah, well, but hone your skills too. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. Hundred yeah, yeah, yeah. percent. Yeah, that's cool. It's like going to the skate park, yeah. practicing. Yeah, right? you have yeah. a place to go practice instead of like in a, in your bathroom. Absolutely. Or your mirror, yeah. right? and that's like kind <laughs> yeah. of like even with like uh, or your basement. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, man. Because you were in, um, I was looking at your IMDb. You've been in a lot of stuff, dude. Mm -hmm. The yeah. only one that I kind of recognized was the uh, Bad News Bears, yeah. but the remake, not yeah. the one in the 70s. It was the one. You weren't in the 70s one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, I was like, whoa, how old is this dude? Yeah. And then it was like Billy Bob Thornton. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. That was like one of my first gigs I ever did. It was just a little like cameo okay. part. But, uh, then Did you watch the original kinda, Bad News Bears? Would you yeah, 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 it was yeah. a good movie. Dude. I love that, that movie. movie. Yeah, that, that one's was, good. It's it's classic. It's, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a classic. I, I'm not like really one for like remaking like, you know, classic right. films like but people do it all the time mm -hmm. and it just mm -hmm. kinda work. There yeah. was another one, Candy Corn. Yeah, candy it's like corn. the scary movie. Does would be into that? I'm, I'm not. I haven't seen it. But I'm, I'm interested to see it. Now. It's a, it's a good Halloween movie to like cuddle up with your 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 girl and just like <laughs> watching and get scary. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like a love letter to like '80s like slasher films. Kind I mean, of. How long ago did it come out? It came out. It came out like 2016. Oh, okay. Oh. Or like 2019. I'm sorry. 2019. Mm, still fairly fairly new. Like a little bit before like the uh, pandemic. Yep. Yeah. Candy corn. I have to check There's that out. Candy corn. Uh, Look at you up front. Yeah, up front. Yeah, I got to uh, the guy uh, from that played Candyman was in it, and then the other wow. guy from um, Children of the Corn was in it. Like it was, it was really. That's why it it's was, Candy Corn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hooper is that uh, what's his name that produced it? No, it's not Rob Zombie. Uh, it's not Rob. A, a guy okay. that I met on a Rob Zombie movie called Josh Hastings. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. See that? So I mean, you build relationships with people that you meet on set, and then of they. Course see you work and they're just like dude just bring this guy on you don't need to audition him so right right so yeah, you make an cool. impression that way for sure yeah 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 exactly it's so funny man like speaking of like getting hurt and all that stuff it's like you know i mean i couldn't even imagine because jackass was like you could you could get hurt way more gnarly than skating you're getting thrown around you're getting you know blown up by it's, a porta potty whatever it, the fuck it is it's know? funny that all my injuries have all been skateboarding That's so yeah. crazy <laughs> yeah Broken femur, broken wrist, broken heel, broken foot, broken rib, Dude. broken back, all skating. Nothing. Jackass knocked out. That's it. Wow. That was their worst injury. Knocked out. What? What? Uh, Actually, it was Wild Boys. It wasn't even Jackass. It was for Wild Boys. And that's not even your show. Yeah. Pontius <laughs> <laughs> and Steve. Yeah. 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 What was it? What did you get knocked out? Uh, it, well, it was skating. Oh. So we were down at uh, at Bob Burnquist's ramp. And we were filming with monkeys. We were doing like a California edition. And Bob told me to drop in on the smaller part of his ramp and go into the big part. And he was on the right of me. We both dropped in at the same time. He rode the side of the ramp and I went over his waterfall. And it's like a trick he does to people. Everybody slams on it. And I just dropped in. You're going so fast. You don't even go down the waterfall. You just fall out. And I just went... Yeah. Bam and knocked out. Damn. Birdman was there and he talks about it too. He goes, dude, we we saw you out. It's a trick that he does. With yeah, people? he does. He used to do it to people all the time. Did when what happened? Uh, what happened? Uh, so we're talking about the waterfall is a rolling. Yeah. Right? So his, his oh. no is uh. So he has his like six or seven foot mini ramp part. Okay. And then it waterfalls into his vert ramp. Gotcha. And you can go out. You you supposed to like to keep riding. You ride the side of it. He rode the side and I just went straight over the waterfall. And it's such a steep, quick one. Even Birdman says he's he's gotten me on it too. No way. Yeah. What so, a dirty trick. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Burnquist, that, yeah, dirty like dog. You're getting hurt. <laughs> Were you yeah. even filming it, or was this no? Just nobody like a, filmed it. He no. Goes, Let's just do it for fun. Wow. Like he's like, we're just waiting what? to film around. You know. Oh. Did you get to do the monkey thing? Oh yeah, we, oh, yeah, we did. did. Okay, yeah, okay. it was good. Okay. I just got knocked out for a little bit. Dude, it's so funny, dude. Wow. Yeah. I mean, just the jackass shit. Like, did you ever invite Punch on the jackass? No. Nothing? Nah, no, we weren't really. It we weren't fri friends. We weren't like. Really? Yeah, it's still like. Yeah, it was still rivals. Still rivals. Still. <laughs> After like, it was like right before the last movie or the last. No, it was right before the last. 
when not I this moved last to Los one. Angeles is when yeah, I, I was going to say the, not the last one. So yeah, it was the th- before the three D movie. Oh, that's when we started. Like where we squashed whatever the skateboard industry did to us, <laughs> and then Punch takes his now wife on their first date. To Jackass 3D. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. He got his wife to go see Jackass 3D. Yeah. Why is that the first day? <laughs> it's just fun. It's funny. Just, uh, that is a good first I mean, day. It's a good icebreaker, right? Yeah. Or you try to do the popcorn <laughs> trick. No, no, not at all. Uh, I, was, I was on this like traveling Broadway show called the Radio City Christmas Spectacular with the Rockettes. Okay. And it's, Done out of it started in New York City mm-hmm. and then it kind of branched out and like sometimes it's in New York and then in Nashville and then like they do arena tours and stuff and basically I did a three city tour and my wife I, I was one of the actors on on it and she was one of the the bosses on there and mm. that's where we met was on this tour and basically uh, the movie Jackass 3D came out and I was like does anyone want to come watch this movie with me. And she was the only one that said, I'll go watch it with you. And we went (laughs) to watch it. And I was dry heaving the whole time, (laughs) like about to vomit. And she was just laughing at me. Because Steve was like in the porta potty, there's shit everywhere. It was just. You don't like that. You don't like it. it, Yeah, like it's it's fun to watch, but it's also, it, 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 it makes me sick. And she was laughing her ass off. And from then, we we ended up like making out that night, and then <laughs> the next day was her her birthday. Wow! So okay, yeah, it was like a. What'd you, know, you get her for her birthday? A uh, two for one. Another <laughs> big. <laughs> <laughs> two for one. That, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys started dating after that? Obviously, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. We started okay. dating after that. She from L.A. as no, well? No, she's or? from Buffalo, New York. How did that even work out? Because she worked for the company for Radio City, and it, it basically they hire like actors okay. and staff from different parts of the country to come and run this show, this traveling show. So you're on tour with her through how for how long? Uh for three months. Okay, because you have to like we go and rehearse in Myrtle Beach. And then you go on the, and then you you start the. Trip. How long were you? Uh, how long into the tour did you go and see that movie? Uh, probably like within the first few days. Oh, wow. oh, so you had three months together. To, yeah, yeah, to, like to it was almost like, and okay. she was like sneaking to my room at night Ooh. because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get the rules. Well, management wasn't allowed to fraternize with like the talent. And so oh, she like, was yeah. fraternizing. Yeah, huh? yeah. Well, I was too. Okay. So, yeah. And that's how. Uh, what's crazy about it is, is that that's not allowed. But a lot of people meet on this tour, and they're like married now and still together. So oh, it's like, a lot of, you yeah, know, yeah, how long you been things. married? Um, twelve. No, no, shit. Um, <laughs> nine years now. Hey, nine congrats, years. bro. Yeah, thanks. Amazing, dude. But we've been together 12, for twelve years. Twelve years, years okay. together. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Look at you. Damn. Yeah. And then, so what would happen when you guys did the three months were over? Um, she went back to Buffalo and I went back to out here. I had this dope apartment like on Fuller Street mm-hmm. and, um, and Franklin, like up there. And I was just like, there's no way, uh, like I wanna keep this going with you, I love you, but there's no way I'm moving to Buffalo, New York. And she went back to Buffalo, New York and it was like, super cold and yeah, yeah. like rainy and, and snowing just like the worst weather for like the next uh like three four months of winter and this was like uh in january you're like it's 75 out here <laughs> yeah, and i'm good. like i'm like you can come out here and visit and hang out and see if you like it and she came out fell in love with it perfect we ended up you know you know just living together beautiful man awesome. it's hard beautiful. though like if you just go just to living with each other without oh, 100%. Like, having, like without dating really oh, right you know? right right just you jump know? right in and yeah, like just jump you gotta, right you in gotta learn was... each other's quirks and shit oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but like we ended up figuring out she's completely different than me as far okay. as like she's really smart book smart like nice. educated like computer wizard and i'm not any of those things so um all i have is like my determination and my <laughs> and my heart and my heart, and, my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we balance each other out. You know, opposites attract. I sure, think, you know, yeah, it's beautiful, true. man. Yeah. It looks like you're doing some comedy now, though. So you must be the funny one in the house. She is. Oh yeah, she was actually a comedian too. She was a comedian before me, and after the pandemic, 
Well, what happened is when you're when you're when you when you are in this acting world, you can get pigeonholed into stuff. Pigeonhole meaning like I did a lot of horror movies. Oh, I see you're saying. And yeah. so I get used a lot for like the horror stuff or like the bad guy stuff, the mean guy. Like hmm. I love doing it, but it's like then you can't really do comedy. Right. Or like comedy, like TV series, because everyone just sees you as this other dude. So I was like, I went after the pandemic, and that's what my agent was telling me. After the pandemic, I started going to open mics with my wife just to watch, see how what 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 happens in this. Hmm. And like a lot of the dudes were just like talking about like like blowjob jokes and like online dating, and I'm like, fuck, I got so much more to say than this. And so I started writing some stuff down and then I just kind of kept going with it and just got up and got up and then kind of fell in love with it. And I was like, oh, you want comedy? I'll, f I'll become a stand-up comedian, you know? <laughs> and so now, you know, like I, I kind of like almost, it's not that I love stand-up comedy more mm -hmm. than acting, but with stand-up comedy, you're in control of it. You know what I mean? With acting, you do a self tape audition, you send it in, you don't right. hear nothing, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Or you book the role. And you do a lot of these things and that's what the pandemic did was it made it so everything is a self tape now. You're never going back into a room and making it up like personal. Like I feel like I booked a lot more when I mm -hmm. went into the room because you go in, you read the other you do your, your your sides, you read with the, the casting director and the casting director is usually like okay next you know or they're like i love what you did that was super interesting that's not what we're looking for here but could you try it this way and then that's the next round you know you don't get that with self tapes sure, you either sure. you either get you, you either get booked the audition or you never hear anything no feedback nothing mm. so just you you have no control of it, and with stand up, you have all the control over right. it. You're right, you're booking your own little jobs and Absolutely. going to different yeah. little clubs. And I mean, how much is, do you do you get paid for a lot of these? Gigs some of them or? I do, and then okay. some of them I don't. Just you free, know? It, yeah. it's just free. But I I told myself I'm like I'll give myself three years. I never see myself as like a headliner. That's that's like what do you never say never. No, absolutely, but like I see myself as an opener. I could easily go up there and open up for someone big and do like 15, 20 minutes Get and the crowd kill loose. it, yeah. warm the crowd yeah. up, and then he warm it up for my boy, and then he goes in there and just you know murders it. But that's what I give myself three years to to be able, and I've been like at it for like two and a half years, and it's starting to grow. So we'll see. You it's know? a grind. Yeah, it's a, it's such a grind, dude. Damn. It's, it's, it's like, like that's where it all starts for even like the bigger comedians. Like they start like ground, and then you work your way to like, all right, I'm opening for somebody, and then they get that confidence, and then eventually, hopefully, they get to that point where yeah. they can be the, you know, the lead. In I, the I, absolutely, and one of the things too is like with 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 stand up is like they're always looking for the next young best thing. And I'm no spring right. chicken, <laughs> you know. So it's like these. You got these younger kids, but they're True. and they're good, most of them, you and know. But they uh, they just haven't had enough life experience yet. And right. so I try to bring that aspect mm. to it, and uh, it, it's been working. But you know, I'm still like you know like you. I never talk about my age or any of that okay. in stand up because it, it's just one of those things that you know it doesn't need to be. Couldn't you like about. play off of that though? I do play off of it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you have to play off of it. Sure, sure. But um, it seems yeah. like I feel like that's what comedy is, though. It's like yeah. your own. You're, you're you're basically you know you're using yourself as like a punching bag, right? You can oh, like play. You definitely, you definitely are. I try to stay about like you know stay away from t like dividing the room because mm. nowadays it's very divisive, very easily. <laughs> oh yeah, divisive. Like there's trigger words and stuff. So I try to stay away from talking about like politics or like religion mm -hmm. or yeah. like sports mm -hmm. you know like right. because people get like triggered quick and like they'll come up to, uh, after you and they're like I, I really loved your set but i didn't like what you said about this and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, like okay joke. great that's yeah. every comedian that means i'm gonna right. do it again yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 it affected him yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah i think that's so crazy i think the big blue i mean actually i don't know about any blueprint but what i see a lot of comedians doing which is awesome that you guys are doing is the podcast and you get to go do stand-up at places and it feels like that drives a lot of people to go see you do stand up. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I, and I think that's, but with that said, the way me and Jason do it is we shoot all our episodes like um, 
first. Yeah. Like within a month, and then we put them out slowly, depending on like, you know, like you, uh, but you guys put them out like right after each other. Depends. Like, you know? Yeah, depends. depends. So we're not like able to like, I'm not able to be like, because we don't know which one's going to go first, which one's going to go last, or oh. so I'm not able to be like, and guys, next week I'll be at the comedy store, so oh, come check out my show. Right. We have, so we, the, the, the idea is to be able to do that, but right now the, the process is like just getting as many out there as possible. Why don't you know where who's coming out? Why can't you schedule out this one's this day, this one's this day? We, we definitely could, but you don't don't know because sometimes some podcasts are better than others we you know like yeah we, wait, what do you mean so we filmed 11 okay and 11. yeah we did 11 in a month probably within two months okay we did some days where we did four in one week we did back to back Beautiful. on a tuesday back to back on a thursday and uh when we got we we, we cut one because it wasn't even good hmm. so we actually did 12 okay uh, but when we got them together, we, we, we planned it out because we were like, we, we don't need to like record, put out, record, put out. We're like, let's not tell anybody, mm -hmm. only the people that are on it, and let's record them all, and then let's just drop it to the world and see what they think. Okay. Oh. okay. So then people go, whoa, when, when, when were you doing this? I, why wasn't I? How come I didn't know? <laughs> and there's certain people of my friends that like once you tell them something, they're the gossip people, and they sure. they. So I was like, yeah. you were super like. I was, I was like, I don't quiet. want. You were hush hush about nobody it. Nobody to know. Okay, but and yeah, and so then we got them all, and then we watched them all, and we figured out we wanted it to go like this. Okay, as okay. we set each one out, we wanted like. We wanted to come out with bangers mm -hmm. and then dip a little and then bring another banger in. Yeah, you, got, yeah. you have to do so, that. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all so. bangers in different ways. Sure. Yeah, like, sure. Yeah. One of the things I noticed, like, I, I mean, you guys basically, like, interview skateboarders. Mm -hmm. full and you mm -hmm. guys are talking about skateboarding. We're, 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 we're trying to interview, like, all different walks of life. Yeah. And, like, not everyone is... Not that not everyone is as interesting as other people, but yeah. we, we're, we're, we're trying to make people shine. And and just like what you guys are, and that's what this is all about. And some episodes just don't move yeah. as good as others. Yeah, but yeah. you know, you get comedians on; it's just laughter, right, the whole sure, time. Yeah. And then you get another one; you're like, ah, this one, you know. So we got we got we got to kind of like strategize which ones we're putting out oh, that yeah, week okay. based on like. But well, all that stuff will come though too. It because is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's coming it, naturally. It's it's a. I mean, when we started, the, I mean, we. It's a learning process. You almost have to train your brain how to like do this and talk to people and bring stories back around and oh, this guy's going on this tangent for this so long. Oh. Hey, dude, let's bring this <laughs> back. Yeah, yeah. We start. We start. Like, it's we, it's it's a thing. We've it, had that hundred percent. And when we first started, Punch was coming in with notes. With notes. Yeah. And and I was like, <laughs> and and the funny part was, we'd be talking like this, and then Punch would be like. So what's your favorite color then? <laughs> like, I, and I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. We're oh. we're in we're in like a zone right now, and you just threw a rock in that derailed, yeah, mm. derailed. And mm. I had to show him this, and then it got to the point where I said, "Punch, this is how we're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Just imagine we called up Joe Schmo, and we're going to lunch with him, and yeah. just have a conversation at lunch, and that's." what we're gonna do that was my take on this show it was more of like and i i didn't i i i never did notes i never mm -hmm. did research me because neither. like it was for me it was more about like i wanted to have a genuine conversation with somebody just like we we're going out and having coffee together yeah and it wouldn't be like if i'm going out to have coffee with wee man or paunch like i wouldn't i wouldn't be on google like oh what am i going to mm, talk about yeah. with mm -hmm. these guys and blah 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 but throughout the years it got to a point where I'm like, you know what? Let me prepare. Yeah, let me, let me, of course. I, I've, I've honed some skills in yeah. this conversation thing. I trained my brain how to do a lot of different things that I didn't normally do in conversation. Yes. So now let me go in with a little bit of ammunition. And it's more just bullet points. It's more of like, hey, let's keep this conversation rocking. And like, let's, let, me, let, me get, let me get some stuff, you know? It's like... That's, a, that's exactly how I explained it to Punch. I go, think of three... Mm -hmm. topics you want to talk about with this person keep them in the back of your head and if you feel it's a little getting slow 
Drop it. Drop it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There you right. go. Because conversations yeah. can lull. Yeah, they right? can. And totally. then you could just be like, oh, and then, so what happened with Think? What's yes, going on with exactly. there? Like you were in the East Coast and what? I don't yeah. understand. So yeah. now a whole new conversation opens so. up. So. He got he got a lot better near the end, and yeah. you can see it. And and our banter towards each other is the funnest part of it That's for yeah, me. We got it like a little mini bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mini and we're, and bar. we're trying to get sponsored by like Tootsie Roll Midgies. Tootsie Roll has a brand, they call them Midgies, and they're like smaller little Tootsie Rolls. And wait, it's wait, on wait, the back, and they're called wait, Midgies. They're called M I D D G G E S Midges. Wow. Tootsie Roll. They get away with They've been getting they away. Do. And I'm okay. like, this is awesome. And I'm it's like, ours. we want them to sponsor us. Perfect. <laughs> so one of the. the, the, the oh, one of right the, here. Yeah. Midges. Tootsie Roll Midges. There they are. Oh, 700 so, of them. So one of the, the, the questions out, like, we'll, we'll, like, depending on what guests, we'll, we'll ask them because it's usually them sitting in between us and we'll be like, uh, would you like a midgey from a midgey? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Like, and they're like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> that's so cute. And then we have like a little but tiny dude, like midget bar or a little little bar. We have a mini know? bar. Okay. Mini bar. Okay. So wait, Everything's you, little. You reached out to them. They didn't. They haven't. No, we back? we haven't reached out to them. <laughs> oh, we're okay. just we're just putting it in the world. They're, they're hearing it. Midgies, they're hearing if you're it, listening, dude. yeah, we got the perfect. We're yeah. waiting for that person that works or has their mom or dad or uncle yeah. or cousin mm, it'll that works it's like dude these guys are like promoting you guys you Perfect. need them dude, it happens all the <laughs> yes. time we talk about something on the show yeah. somebody will email yeah. a dm be like dude i work for them yes. like oh really want- that's oh, yeah, great 100%. that's we're waiting for that we don't we don't want to go out we're not sending a sponsor me tape to right. them. <laughs> We're just putting our footage out there and yeah. see if we catch it. Okay, let's talk more. Go ahead. Would you have uh, something to say? Uh, is there a time frame that you guys work with on your podcast? Like, only film for an hour, or you guys just go? One hour. We're one hour. One hour. Yeah. And Why? there's two... Uh, so well, we're we're already yeah. in one hour twenty two, so we got to go. This is it. <laughs> we're done. this this is our Tony. <laughs> this is actually our Tony Hawk episode. We went over with him, oh, so yeah. we're at the Tony Hawk. Mm-hmm. But um, okay. and I could tell he wanted to leave the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kept asking questions, and he was like, <laughs> like we're, done. "We're done. We're done." No, no, yeah. he loved it. Yeah. It was yeah. good. He's he's the man. So here's how it started, that because we're talking about it. Yeah, please. So Punch and I. Well, I'll start with this. Punch was. Did a movie? Your your, what was your thing you did? Your movie that we tried to get out there. Oh, I forgot. I, I think Left in the Desert or something. No. The one with dude, the twin brother. Oh one. oh, uh, um, Dwarf of Psychosis. So Ponch was working on this Dwarf of Psychosis movie that he sent to places that he's gotten awards for. Yeah. And he came to me and he said, "I want to make something bigger with this. It's him and an average size guy that uh, are twin brothers." Yeah. But the average size guy thinks he's a little person yeah. the whole time. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's really like <laughs> off the wall and yeah, funny. Twins. Yeah. Yeah. Danny DeVito, yeah. and Schwarzenegger. But it's next level. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he brought it to me and I loved it. I laughed. I said, okay. He goes, I want to do something with this. I said, okay. I go, I'll open doors for you, but I want to be silent. I, I kind of want this to be your thing, sure. but I'll, I'll, I'll help. Okay. You know, give me a little, you know, throw me a little crumbs. Mm-hmm. If something happens, and cool, we're good. And we went to different uh, companies, production companies, like Happy Gilmore's production company. Yeah, yeah. We had a meeting oh, yeah. Happy mm. Madison. Yeah, we were, we were in some big ones. Okay. And nobody really bit. Nobody, so we're like, okay, get it. It's all mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And Ponch was doing his comedy. I was going and watching him, and I was giving him some pointers on comedy. It was helping him out, and he loved it. Gave him some stuff. And then one time Ponch came to me. He had a show near my house. And he's like, can I stay the night at your house? And I'm like, you can spend the night in my house anytime. Mm-hmm. Let's go watch a comedy. Let's do that. He came over. Bef- you know, We watched his comedy. And then he comes. He goes, what do you think about doing a podcast? Hmm. And I go, I've been thinking about it. And I think it would be cool something together to do. But I said, if I'm involved... I just want to show up. I want to do the podcast and I want to wash my hands. Like, okay. I don't want to edit. I don't want to do none of that. I want to just, you know, and he goes, if I find a place, will you be down? Like, and I go, show me a place. 
And so nowadays there's these places you can go to mm -hmm. and they will live edit right. your podcast. Right. He showed yes. me everything, took me there, and I'm like, I'm in. Yeah. And so we checked it out, did that, and uh, I was like, this this is exactly how I want to do it. So that's why we our episodes are one hour. Uh. Mm. Because we go in, we get that time slotted you know thing and then they got another one they, another appointment right. yeah so yeah. they so you know. do they do everything for you your youtube channel no they no, put it, no no i do they, all that so, so they give on. you the you're re basically renting time in a studio and they yep. give you the cut yeah they're like here you go this is yep. it here's the footage and then punch has done the rest yeah punch learned over covid how to edit and do different things and he punch punch is doing the rest yeah Amazing. and he's Fine. and he's, yeah, he's doing good i'm I'm awesome. My wife it. definitely helps me, but like, yeah, it's uh, okay. Okay. So then he was there, and we we went to breakfast, and we're cruising. We were talking about it. We had ideas. We made a dream list, and I and I told him too. I'm like, if we're gonna do this, I want to be quiet about it. Mm. I want to film all our guests, mm -hmm. and then I want to drop it. Okay. I want, and I, and I even said it too. And it, it, we have a we have a bonus episode coming out. But I said in our bonus episode, I go. I'm not gonna go and then piggyback off all my friends. I'm like, we're not having one jackass guy on this, you know, right now. Okay. Maybe down the line. Hmm. I'm like, but we're gonna come in hot and we're gonna get a dream list and we're bringing our dream list in and we're doing it. That's interesting. And we're gonna film it all, we're gonna get it ready and we're dropping it, boom. And he goes, I love the idea. That's interesting. And I go, don't tell a word. We're having everybody sign NDAs when they come in. Yeah, we did it all pro. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we dude. did it all Raj, pro. You got that paperwork back there. We <laughs> need to, no, because like, here's the thing: is like we leaned on all of our friends mm -hmm. for this. I mean, yeah. we were leaning on our friends like heavy. Yeah, you know, no. to like try to get it going. But I figured we, Ponch and I, if you say two little people, ones from Jackass, ones a comedian, want you on their podcast, mm -hmm. who's gonna, gonna say gonna no? Sure, it, yeah. yeah, and who's gonna true, say no? True. And that's and so, either one of you guys reaching out. To them, both of us, yeah. both okay. of us, we came up with our list and we both reached out and we got them. Is you it hard? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just saying, is it hard to schedule them based off like your timing and like, like how do you schedule we, like a time we, with we them? We did it all. We contacted them all like on the mm -hmm. same day and we said, here's our time frame. Can you fit in it? Oh, okay. And they just said, yeah, 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 yeah. Sick. There's a couple we had to shuffle. And Birdman, he went till the last day. Oh wow! And he, you know, we're like, we're getting him in, and once he's done, we're throwing it together and we're sending it out. When they give you the live cut, are they giving you, are they giving you a finished podcast, or are they giving you like something to work with in Premiere? An editing. No, they're software. giving you a, a finished podcast. They're giving you a finished but, podcast. I mean, you could what still like edit it out? more. No, okay. yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll can edit it on Premiere. Okay, so they it's they give you an editor, editable. Yeah. Yeah. timeline of the cut that they did yeah yeah okay got you interesting yeah and so thank you deaf noodle yeah to get the love you know mm -hmm. they've done some stuff for us so we give them a little love amazing um but yeah and w once he so we were driving to breakfast and a beatles the beatles revolution song was on and I'm like, let's call it a little revolution. Yeah. And he goes, why? And I go, I don't know. Sounds good. <laughs> it's all right. And he goes, and I go, the Beatles song was actually on, and it hit. And he goes, all right, it's on. Yeah, that's better than it. small talk. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the names. Yeah. No. Oh, no. <laughs> but we got Brad Williams on the show. Kind of catchy he, though. And he went, yeah. <laughs> but he said he goes when he was leaving. He goes, I'm so pissed. I didn't come up with this idea and pick one of you guys to do it with. But he goes, but I'm glad you guys didn't call it small talk. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, there you yeah. Go. There you go. So, so this is it right here. Pretty dope, yeah. man. You got the nice little set back there. Oh, it's legit. Yeah. So are you still filming stuff now? No. Or what we, do you mean? But what about when when Eleven comes around? You got to get put out more. Oh, we, we, we're, <laughs> we're, 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 we're starting to kind of get the the list together. Yeah, for, we're doing our okay. But like list people again. go away for the holidays, so yeah, we're trying to get that like little time tough. like in between after Thanksgiving and Christmas, like right. you know, to shoot <laughs> like at least half of them. Okay. Yeah. And now, do they have different sets you could pick from? Or they have just, two. They have two sets. But we liked this one, and okay. we were going to go back and forth, but uh, we liked this one, and uh, they said now when we go back, we can change it up a little bit more too. We're gonna try and well, we're gonna try and make it our own. We kind of okay. have to change it up because um, 
a lot of people rent that space out and so you'll see podcasts and it, it looks same. similar to yours mm -hmm. and it could like kind of give like a miss like what's it called like a misconception yeah. or something of like to other people are like is For this sure. we man and poncho's podcast what's going on <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. because it's similar you yeah. know who yeah these, who are these dudes yeah but I'm, I'm surprised they don't have like movable stuff like they do there's a couple things that's okay movable. you could like bring some shit in mm -hmm. bring some shit out yeah okay, we're, okay, okay. we're, we're trying to get like the um the little revolution like like neon yeah. sign like an, uh, not as dope as that one oh, but pretty dope. close yeah. this is legit yeah, yeah you guys bro. you guys are big time though eric bragg brought that in he, that was a gift nice yeah, yeah. So wait, wait so how many episodes are we in at the moment fifth fifth or sixth no right we're, on, we're gonna be on our seventh episode once seventh. a week once a week yeah so, so who have we had on so far as far as like you have six or seven people on right we this is the this is them right here oh sick so oh jeremiah watkins is awesome dude oh yeah. he's right <laughs> so then we went after he did ours he goes you two have to come on a scissor, scissor bros, bros yeah. right? <laughs> and it uh, it's a funny story you'll hear on there if you go watch it. i'm tired i don't like saying stories over and over but we went on there and we were one of the best episodes he said nice. and oh, yeah right. together with him and stevie weeby yeah okay. but okay yeah. but uh yeah they've all had their own golden moments mm -hmm. and the one that's coming wednesday mark uh pavanelli mm. funny also <laughs> nice. well funny, funny but he too. was also um i don't know if you guys know what lpa is but it's uh little people of america it's like an association oh. for, for 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 little people you know to go and meet other little people and kind of like you you can talk to doctors like they have conventions and you can talk to doctors that deal with little people and like huh. play sports like with like your own kind you know yeah. like staring at everyone deal, at eye level that deal with little people yeah, yeah. Doctors, <laughs> that deal with little that people deal with little people and like you know but he was he was actually the president for them for like four years but he's also like a, a friend of mine and uh or, or for two t for for eight years and but he's also a friend of mine and he's We've done lots of acting gigs together, and he's a phenomenal actor. But uh, we we wanted to have him on the show to like mm -hmm. have him talk about that because one of the things we're trying to do with our podcast too, I, I think you guys are, is like uh, teach through like you know like like le learning through like teaching through laughter, you know, yeah. through yeah, like yeah. you know in conversation, for sure. yeah, sure, yeah. 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 So uh, Tony Cox. Yeah. Bad Santa, Friday, all that. Yeah, yeah so good. we got him on the show because <laughs> I, I did a like a B movie with him. Uh, Poncho's worked with him, and the guy's amazing. But he was a little tough. He's an older dude, and he's a little tough to you know get. But he finally agreed, and we got him in. And then he got a phone call, and there there was a little issue, and oh, I'm like, no, no. damn, we're like we've been juggling to get him in, get him in, get him oh, in, no. and we're gonna lose him. And Ponch went and took a piss real quick. And Ponch comes back, and I'm like, all right, it's go time. F you, Ponch. And I joked on Ponch to make him laugh. Okay. <laughs> and he laughed, and it went yeah. from then on. It just went straight in, and he forgot, like, you know, what was going on oh, in his wow. personal thing. And we yeah. did a whole show, and he goes, guys, this was one of the best things I've right. ever done, and I'm, thank you for having me on. That's like, sick. you made me feel super good. Yeah, and awesome. we're like, hell yeah. And then I knew... I was like, okay, we're this is we're we're doing it now. <laughs> right, that's amazing. So it, amazing. Yeah, I it was that. it was good. It's a good one. I can't I I can't wait for everybody to see that one. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, He's man. awesome. Love the dude. That's sad. and that's coming yeah. in the next couple of weeks. That'll be yeah. That uh, actually yeah. yeah, like two or three weeks. Huh. Sick. And then we we end with Birdman. Birdman was good too. Birdman. What? Well, you don't end with them. You gonna no. just that that's the, this season. This season. We, we call it go. our seasons. But wait, are you gonna take a break once say Bob Birdman's episode drops? Are you gonna take? It's a probably break? gonna be a little one just so we can then do our next. You know, our next. Well, why year. not work on that now? We are though. okay, we, but okay. we both have some things going on. So mm, okay. what what date does it drop? Or what days? Every it Wednesday. Drop? Every Wednesday. Every at Wednesday. What time? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Wednesday. Okay. okay. So you're handling everything. You got the podcast, um, like uh, the audio podcast out mm -hmm. there in the world. And so you're doing all the back end. And one, one of the things I do too, I don't know if you guys do it because you guys have been doing it for a while. Mm -hmm. So you you know it's good. But I try to, I live kind of far away. So when I drive to Los Angeles to do my open mics or shows, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to our podcast. Just listen to it, yeah. mm -hmm. because you you want to make sure that it sounds mm -hmm. good, like that, For like sure. you're like painting a picture with your voice. You yep. know that it's that. Um, you so have to. I, I, I try to do that with all the, the episodes, just right. to kind of. 
it also in the beginning it makes you better when oh, you yeah. watch because I used to edit all the episodes and so I would edit I watch myself and at first I was hyper critical of what I was doing on camera I'm, oh, I'm licking my lips I'm doing this I'm looking up here I'm on my whatever and then after a while you're like okay who cares yeah whatever yeah. like that's all good I'm that sense whatever sensitivity has gone and then you start to think oh I do this oh I say that mm. I say this yeah and also the YouTube habits yeah and the YouTube comments will kind of help too oh, yeah. I think um because it's good. I like I like constructive criticism. I don't like other types of criticism, but constructive I'll take all day long. Absolutely. Because you, I want to get better. Yeah, I want to get better. How did you guys get Mark Norman? I uh, uh, I have a friend that works for him, like his agency. Okay. And I actually had been texting with him. I've I met or I just my friend uh, gave me his number, and I was like texted him. I'm like I'm just gonna. I'm a huge fan of him. Oh, me too. And, me and too. then yeah, and then he so hit me good. back, and we, we started texting, and then we got him in here. It was random, but you you guys have him on your podcast. Yeah, that's yeah, what you can easily get him. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. He he he's he dope. grew up skating, so he's like super fan of skating. Definitely. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I saw footage. I didn't know, and then I saw footage. I'm like, well, when I learned kickflips, it took me like a good two years. Like, it's not like an easy trick just to learn. Like, right. you got to be doing it. Yeah. And then I saw the footage. I'm like, he's a skateboarder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can't just kickflip out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's... How did you get someone like on like uh, King Bach on? Like that dude's like an actor influencer type of guy, right? I hit him up. Amazing. I straight up, <clears throat> I said, "Hey, man, I just want to let you know, skater." And another skater guy, you know, we'd love to have you on our podcast. Because he's and, not a skateboarder, not to no, cut you off. Right? Yeah. yeah. And he's like, dude, I'm a fan. Let's go. And I was like, I, I go, I got him. I love it. And he goes, no way. I go, <laughs> I got him, dude. And, I'm, and he came on. He's super cool. But um, the funny thing is, I mean, honestly, everybody else has promoted their... Uh, there. He, he did. He did it, and yeah. I get it. He's 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 big. Gonna, he's, he's, a, gonna, he's a big dog. He's a big sure, dog, sure. and you know he's, he's a big, big dog, shark yeah. out there. Doesn't and, matter and, who, how big they are, though. You're gonna come across those people. Yeah, and you yeah. you wonder why, but yeah. then after a while, you're like, eh, who I, cares? I've heard from other people that because uh, he's an he's a social media he's a Vine guy. Or is yeah, yeah he Vine? started he started with Vine. Yeah. Vine. Oh, yeah. a lot of Vine, Vine people don't from Vine don't like cross promote things. Huh. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, you know what, though? We got in the bank. He's cool. Love the For dude. Sure. It's a really, you know? really good episode, too. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good one to have under your belt. Real talk. Yeah. It does no. suck, though. It does suck. Because we even us to this day, it's like it helps us when other people post yeah, of course. their stuff. It depends oh, on, you know, it, it, their following and stuff. And when they don't, you're just like, okay, I mean... It is what it is. It happens, yeah. though. It, no, it definitely yeah. happens. It sure. happens to us yep. still. Yeah. It's, and it's a learning thing. And we're, right. you know, we and accept it. You can't without, tell somebody. And we don't like no. press them. We don't no. press them. No. No. Like, are you going to share our stuff or not? <laughs> <laughs> you should call him up. I want it. You should. That would be amazing. He's like, don't he's do like, it. I'm like, dude. We got it. He knows. That'd it's in the city. Yeah. We got to tame ourselves here. Don't yes. do that, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so who's cutting up all the reels and the shorts and all that stuff? The shorts and opus. What is that? Opus? AI shit? Yeah, kind of. My uh, The guy, Dennis. AI, huh? Yeah, like that. As much as, <laughs> as, much as we hate AI. Yeah. We hopefully show AI. We're it's gonna... definitely beneficial um, when it comes to this. Opus is like a, it's like a website where you can, I can throw on the full on edited episode. An hour. Uh, the hour episode. Okay. Throw it on here, download it on, on here, and then it just breaks it down into different conversations and topics that we mm. talked about. And then it rates them. <laughs> it rates them. This will be 99% because you guys are talking about Target and you guys are talking about this. It's going to go into the algorithm. It's going to get way more views. What? And then it does that with all of them. Wow. But you still, it's still like, you still got to kind of go through it. Different and edit world. It. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, um, and then sometimes it doesn't really get everything that you, like what you want to use. So I, I'll go, I'll, I'll take that, I'll, I'll take a clip from the episode and put it on Premiere and edit it. And then, throw it on the opus because then it adds the subtitles and it puts it into the algorithm mm -hmm. wow. but it's also nice to have kind of like an another opinion of like hey what could be good here and yeah. then you could take it and kind of run with it be Absolutely. like that, that wasn't too good but there's something there that i can put. yeah but it cuts it up like you know like it, it hors is that horizontal yeah yeah, yeah. where where like it just so even like when we have the wide shots you'll just see the person that's in the yeah, middle yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so it's, it's like, frames it up it frames it up but uh 
yeah, for the most part, that's kind of what we were told to use in the mm, beginning okay. to kind of like get some volume going on it. Mm, gotcha. And uh, but we're not sure because of the things that you say have happened with Instagram and stuff so, like that. So, it well, it's coming with a lot of things. Um, like I post just to Instagram. Like I, I got over a lot of stuff and I got over social media a bunch and I, I only do like little things now. But um, if you do, like I post to Instagram and then let it go to like, also add it to my Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you post something with words in your on your actual subtitles, video, caption. subtitles, captions, or whatever, and it goes to Facebook, they won't show it really. Mm -hmm. They'll pretty like f five people will see it somehow because it slipped in, and then it gets cut. They they got this weird because you thing put words on on the actual, on the actual video. video. Wow. Yeah, but that's what I learned about it, and I'm like, is. what? Yeah. And I'm like. Give me a raw video that we have of something. I want to test this out. And it worked. Yeah. To check. I, I didn't go back and check because I did it this morning. Okay. So, the, yeah, this is new stuff. Is We're new, okay. learning day by day even. It's an ever-changing yeah. landscape. That's a problem. Yes. It's, it's so hard to keep up with this thing and, oh, this algorithm and this. Da, da, da. It's and, like, oh, my God. And then I heard it one. This was a few years ago. I heard, don't do hashtags anymore because when you do mm. hashtags, you're going to get, like, cut out and this uh, and that. And, you know? That's well, crazy. that's a weird one. Yeah, the like, hashtag jackass with which we use mm -hmm. it, it immediately like it's offensive like it, it gets cut out oh. and i'm like but it's <laughs> i'm like yeah, can't we get a, like a little so break here? weird like, <laughs> wow so there's yeah. words that you can't use like what we totally, were talking about totally and um yeah but yeah i mean it's I, a learning for anybody process. that's totally. doing a podcast in the beginning i i would highly suggest the opus mm -hmm. because it's really helpful. I mean, and you learn a lot while you're doing it. Even if you're a computer degenerate like me, you're just like, <laughs> you're like, oh shit, like this, wow, like. Right. That's but you're funny. learning though, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. I've never really noticed because my Facebook is tied to my Instagram as well, but I never go and check my um, Facebook to see, oh, is anybody seeing this? Only thing I really care about, like you said, is like my Instagram. Yeah. So I'm not really. Yeah. That's caring. Not, I don't, not that I don't care, but it's like, I'm not, it's not really affecting me because I don't even know. Exactly. I've been the same way, but then I got a phone call like, hey, your video only got like 25 views. And that seems weird because usually if you post something and it's shared, it gets, you know, good right, amount of views. The right. traction's good. Right. And I was like, wow. It's weird. What? Social media is so weird. I'd always really hear, is. wait, so you post on Instagram and it goes straight to, yeah, you, you can straight, just, you, you can link just, it. I feel like it does better if you post it on separately, Instagram and separately. then you post it in your Facebook. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Yeah. yeah then same. it does a little better. Because ours, yeah. you know what's weird is because we do the same thing. We post on the fa on Instagram and it just goes to Facebook. Automatic. We use, sub we use words. And ours do relatively it does well. Good, yeah. Huh? I think maybe because we're like new. Cost, like, messing with you? <laughs> nah, <laughs> he's not mad. He, he tries. Is this to like help. a new page too? New Instagram no. page? No. No. I mean a Facebook page? No. None of it's new. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think we'll ever find the answers. We don't. Yeah. No we TikTok. Never. No TikTok. I never. I ain't never even signed up once for it. Yeah. Same. I yeah. tried it and I was like, eh, I don't think this one's for me." Yeah, it seemed a but little. But I gotta, yeah, I gotta try to get over it. I gotta. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta work with it. How about Snapchat? Wait, I, I did it first. And, I did it at talk. first too, and then stopped well, also. Me. Totally. I felt like I, when I did it personally, and then I saw who was. Uh, it felt when it first came out. It felt like teeny boppers yeah, yeah and i was like okay nope not not doing this yeah not no, it's getting for the, involved it's for the younger yeah. younger kids yeah. for sure yeah it kind of phased out and then it came back totally it did it, it did have a little yeah, yeah. but it's again i think it's for the younger generation like yeah. they they, you, yeah. they use that tool a lot more oh, like in sure. i'd say like high school and like junior high type yes shit. and tiktok too tiktok when, as well yeah. when you, what were you gonna say when yeah. you guys put your episodes out do you guys put it on private or like put it on for the public or for for can little kids watch it too? Yeah. Because yeah. we were told, at least with ours, not to, because the stuff that we talk about, not to be able to let little kids watch it, you know, like. Mm, I mean, you, I don't know. We don't, no, we, it's not 18 or over. Yeah. That, that's going to lose a lot of your viewership. That's what right I, there. that's what I think too. And I think that especially Who told with you like, that? Um, well, you don't have to say, but I mean, it's just. I don't know. It's just some of the no, people don't, that we've don't talked do that. to. Yeah. No. But what, what are we talking about? Like. I don't think we've really ever, have, like watching ours, they have said anything that little kids can't wa hear. Or I mean, watch. what, F bomb, whatever? Like, Is that it? The, the skiing trip? The skiing one, okay, yeah. <laughs> 
But I mean, we we, just, <laughs> we were deep in skiing. <laughs> oh, but, but I mean, we post. I mean, we could talk about it after the show. We could just show you what we do. But um, it's. I mean, we just post for everybody. Yeah, no. Yeah, we just because there's a little click thing that you put on. You say, "Hey, there's swearing in this," and you yeah. click it for ad uh, revenue, okay. and then you just submit it, and then uh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll 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 do that to kind of open up our audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know why you would like hide it yeah. from uh, other people. I mean, yeah, yeah. kids live. That's the thing, man. And, uh, another, and it's different times, bro. It's different times now. Kids yeah. know every damn word these days, anyways. Like yeah, they, it's not yeah, like they've yeah, never yeah, heard yeah. it. Yeah, like, sure. even the sheltered ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sheltered ones are even not really a problem. They are. No, it's uh, it's it's true. I've heard sheltered kids are the ones that are seeing jackass before any of the other kids are. Oh wow! Yeah. And you're like, because you're keeping it from them. Right. Yeah. If you're if you're very open, they'll go see it anyways. But and then if, they'll be over it. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're keeping it from them, they're gonna dive right in crazy bro but yep. congrats on the whole thing so dude and we're trying yeah, yeah i love it well Thanks. i always say i mean youtube it's just a, it's a long-term hustle man it's not a short-term hustle it is a it's a grind it's a full-time job you have to be all in and you're doing the you're doing it right just starting once a week boom 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 consistency is key yeah and then just keep it keep it moving yeah Try. that's it that's our next that's all you got to do it's our next big thing yeah and it makes it easier that you're doing the one hour episodes so you're not like doing these crazy long episodes and it comes just it becomes really taxing i think over a while but totally then you can film it all like and then chill for a while you mm -hmm. can edit and work yeah. and not have to go every single week and do it yep yeah so that's good yeah. unless you want a deep diver deep dive later on like you know this is still the beginning of your guys's like yeah show, so it's still you guys can still kind of change the format of how you really want this to go dude when we first started we were doing 30 minute episodes Wow. 30, 30, 40 minute episodes. Yeah. We, were, we were well under an hour. We were like, yeah. no one's going to want to listen to this crap for an hour or a half an hour. Well, that was the whole thing. It was like, who wants to listen to skaters talking about skating? They yeah. want to watch skateboarding. Yeah. And fuck, who knew? Yeah. It's crazy. Spe speaking of which, what does the nine club mean? <sighs> Why? Mean whatever you nine? want. But at the end of the day, Street League has their nine club. Yeah. It's the, you know, it's the... The best, like, you, it's the... Uh, it's the elite. Yeah, it's the elite tricks. Okay, got so, it. just, and coming up with a name is tough these days. Yeah. You almost have to make shit up. You have to make yeah. up a word, yeah. right? It's like, is a website available? Is Instagram available? Yeah. Is, it, is it trademarked? Is it copyrighted? Like, there's so many things you got to mm. dive into nowadays. And uh, we just thought... I don't know, Raj. We were just talking about like we were thinking of names, like the Seven Hundred Club. You know that uh, okay. thing, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. club's good, like whatever. The Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Yeah. And then we were like nine, it was like nine club, and we, so we spelled it out, nine club, and checked it, and no uh, website was available. Yeah. Everything was available. We were like, how is this possible? <laughs> like trademark. Get the website. We just dove right in. I wonder if golfers ever Google you guys. That like nine at club, you know maybe. what I mean? Because yeah. it's like nine uh, hole. You play a nine hole. Nine iron. Or there's a nine iron and stuff. It's it seems very golfy. Right. Like they go. Oh, well that one's taken. Yeah. Who, yeah, yeah. who sure. got it? These skate dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if they'll sell it. You know. Yeah. Do yeah. Guys, you guys ever interview like skaters that have been like in the nine club? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Cool. For sure. You talk about the trick that got them there and all Oh, hundred percent. But it, but it's not our main focus yeah. though. It's just kind of like whatever. If they do, think, if they got a nine, they, get, they got a nine. I think no, they, it don't matter. The funny thing for me personally is that I was the first guest, but then I'm now a judge for Street League. Wow. So I give these nine clubs out, but it's funny for me to see them, like every time it goes nine club, I'm like. Hell yeah, nightclub. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. like our well, shows can blast it out there. And but. a lot of people <laughs> thought we oh, not like Street League owned us yeah. at first. They thought uh, that we were a part of Street League, but the furthest thing from the truth. It's like, you know, it, it is. We just happen to. It's fun. It's a good name, the Absolutely. Nine Club. Yeah. And yeah. the one thing that we have to differentiate. We spell it. We spell it out, and, not, and Street League has the number nine. Okay. It right. does the number nine. So just to. Be, you know, point, point of difference. Yeah, <laughs> and we have that shit trademarked, so yeah. you know, back up. Really <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a good time though, man. No, it's it fun. I, I just really enjoy talking to people. Yeah, I really do. I like hearing their stories, 
and um yeah we try to go a little bit outside the box and have like kind of non-skaters on and those skaters but we get a big backlash we get a big uproar people don't like that they tune in for they tune into they tune into our show for skateboarding we know that but i like we like to you know we like to do a little left turn and then get back on track and it's fun i just like talking to people i think it's rad we like to flirt on the edge a little bit yeah Yeah. that's good you got it yeah but i'm always jealous i told tony i when i was on tony's podcast i'm like dude you're so lucky dude you could have howie mandel on and nobody nobody you know nobody's questioning if we had howie mandel on the show (laughs) (laughs) people would be like nine clubs done what are these guys doing (laughs) unbelievable we could have howie mandel You can have hundred yeah, percent. You guys can have. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You guys are in a good spot. Yeah. You guys. No, we we like where we put ourselves. Right. But we like where we put ourselves. No, it's good. No. We're, yeah. we're, we're skating. Why are we here? You know what I mean. It's yeah. part of our life. Yes, yeah, man. Yep. So we work on a new Jackass or what? What's going on? <laughs> Jackass. Screen Actors 80? Guild just got out of being on strike. <laughs> <laughs> in due time. But, yeah. No, another ten years or so. I don't know. Dude, you I don't know. I, don't I, know. I really did like the last one. I thought it was really good, man. Good. I laughed my ass off. I thought it was really funny, bro. I'm glad. To this day, too, like we just put it out uh, two years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people are like, when are you going to put out another? I'm like, we just put one out. Yeah. Like, you know, I'll do an AI one for the same amount. There you go. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Same amount, no yeah, problem. Sense right there. Do you think, no, and only for this movie? Yeah, nothing right. else. Yeah, after. no, no AI yeah. and no stuff. Yeah. Do you think there will ever be another Jackass? I'm, what does your heart say? Yeah, totally. Really? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Wow. They, he they, said that without hesitation. I like that. That's bro. pretty good. Because. We were saying no after the first movie, all the you know what I mean, and look, if we're twenty three years later, that's crazy. It's still Jackass. Yeah. Do you think you're gonna bring more like new generation they people did. into it? Well, I know did. you are, yeah, but yeah. like, are you gonna start doing more uh, of that? Maybe? I can't say what. Oh, what I- oh you guys are already talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> um. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys did a phenomenal job on the last Jackass, and I think that's why people are asking for another one because it's just funny, man, and it's funny to watch you guys get older and still just be the same crazy dudes. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it's, then also bringing insane. in new people. You it's know? insane. It's fun. Yeah. What are they it's, really it's, supposed to change? Like these dudes are fucking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're going to continue it's, to be Jackasses. It's crazy. But, like, you, but that, you know what I love, hmm. and that people get. Spike Jones is part of this and girl skateboards. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. this is one of the biggest like crazy whatever things, but then this is one of the biggest skateboard companies. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. I love I love that little connection. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Totally. It's Straight rad. Up. And I mean Jackass so. just in general has a big connection to skateboards. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huge. Huge. Yeah. yeah. Big brother. I just saw Tremaine at the Nitro Circus other Oh, you went to that? Yeah, 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 Rad. Yeah. Saw Hell Tremaine yeah. and Cossack there. Nice. It was yep. sick. Those dudes are good. Got to get Tremaine on your show, dude. That's a good one. I, I'm. We're. We're. I know you it. were saying no, jackass. Or so, whatever, but, but like, here, here's the funny thing about Tremaine. I had a uh, New York Times interview uh, about a year or so ago, and big Rad photography, all that good interview, and they're like, "Well, we want to get Tremaine." interviewed on it he's a big part of your life i'm like here call him up Tremaine's like down Tremaine just fully dogged me the whole time that the beer like nope cutting his interview out and what he do you did- mean he dogged you that's what he does he's yeah like he, he like in his sense of humor dogging you or I like i think so in his in his sense of humor like i'm not gonna talk good about him i'm gonna talk to this <laughs> about him. Wow. and they straight said cutting room floor that well you did pee on him <laughs> <laughs> twice, <laughs> twice. But, i mean he, he one that uh, somebody uh reese g made a video about yeah in the club yeah. uh, the window yeah that was funny and the bouncer didn't you pee, bouncer picked you up and he didn't, like, he didn't like that did you say twice though actually <laughs> with counting that one now three times <laughs> wow three times you forgot about that one oh, yeah okay. <laughs> So they wait. They just cut the interview. Like, nah, we're not going to use it. Nope. No, they cut. I mean, they cut Jermaine's part. You, yeah. you no, still. No, no. My whole interview here, and other chilling. people and all yeah. that. 
Like, it was a great interview, and he, Tremaine read it and got phone calls, like, from all these big wigs that he knows, like, Tremaine's, you know? Right. Friends are like, oh, my God, did you read Wee Man's interview? He goes, no, I haven't read it yet. He goes, was I it? They're like, nope. <laughs> He's like, what? They're like, no, you should read it. It's really good. Did you, talk? <laughs> did you tell him? Like, dude, what are you doing? They no, he you. told me. He goes, I guess I, he told me that he dogged me so bad oh, on God. it. Wow. And I was like, well, I mean, you know, there's... <laughs> There's actually nice people in the world, and they want to hear about good stuff. Right. Yeah, it's not This is all, a Time Magazine piece, bro. Yeah, like, you know. You guys have the funniest relationships, it's bro. So good. Oh, it's, all of you guys together, it's so funny. Yeah, and we're all traumatized. I can't even ring ring doorbells at the nine club. <laughs> That's yeah. what he was saying before he had it. <laughs> he had, <laughs> he had Ponch ringing the doorbell because yeah, like, he's like, I don't know, a fucking glove may come out and smack me in the face. <laughs> but that's how I am to my friends. Like, oh, I'm not taking this one. Go for it, Punch. <laughs> It'll probably be because of me, but you're taking it. <laughs> oh my god! But you really do have a, a form of PTSD. From oh, this totally. Thing. All the time. Well, looking over your shoulders. All the time. That is crazy. Yeah. I go into other places and I look under the couch and stuff. (laughs) That like want to interview. What's he doing? He's looking under the couch. He's looking behind curtains. I don't know if this is a setup that my bros finally are trying to get me, but I am checking everything. He's looking all around the room. Uh, What a way to live life, man. (laughs) Oh, my God. It's crazy. Dude, this has been incredible, dude. Congrats on everything, man. The the, 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 the little, uh, what is it called? Little Revolution. Little Revolution. Love that, dude. Yep. So good things to come from that. Yeah. Get get Spike Jones on there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he, he and I talked. Well, he just had 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 twins. So that's why he didn't come on. He goes, dude. It, he told me before he even told Tremaine and those guys. Oh, wow. Like he was okay. like, "Hey, I would love to be on, but we're about to have twins." Right. And I go, "Okay." And he goes, "Yeah, just don't say nothing. Nobody knows." I'm like, okay. "All right." And he goes, "Talk later." So nice. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, wasn't he at the girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Three right. years yeah. And this stuff. was. Yeah. Thing so just he just happened. Yeah. He gave me a call. He was. He was good about. It. But he was. I was like, okay, the one guy. This is who. Yeah. Dude. He's so, so rad. Yeah, we've He's already put the call through. Okay. So next season, maybe season two, maybe him and his kids. <laughs> that would be <laughs> <laughs> so, Daddy yeah. daycare. Daddy He's coming daycare, on Little yeah. Revolution. Yeah. Wow. Dude. Hey, so. Poncho, how do the people see your comedy these days? Like, so do you, uh, how does I usually put flyers like on my Instagram? That's kind of what I use it for, just to kind of advertise it on there. Or sometimes I put out little video clips and stuff. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. how I came across it. I saw his Instagram the other night, and I went on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, people sick. Met, uh, what was it called the Ice House? The Ice House. Yeah. Ice House. Yeah. Uh, okay. What about cool. YouTube? Good time. You. I mean, you're now you're in the YouTube world. Put your uh, little special out or something on YouTube. Wow. Uh, a little special. Yeah. yeah. You put your little special out. <laughs> little revolution. Yeah. Little revolution special. <laughs> yeah. No, I, would, I, would, I would love. <laughs> we we use that a lot. Oh yeah. 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 It's, it's not L I T T L E. I know. I know. I know. But we love giving shit about it for that. People are like, oh, 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 sorry, oh, sorry. Did I ever? Because I don't want to change. Did I ever say how like? Paramount cut the word midget out because I said it to Bam. I think you told that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we say it all the time. Wow. Yep. We we actually like, but when Tony Cox, Tony Cox said, when Tony Cox was on the show and like a couple other people, they're like, no, what don't do say mean? that. They said, oh, you because said it. They, they didn't like that. Mm-hmm. No, no they not. said it beforehand. We had, like I, I, we're like, not hey, using the word midget. If, like you know, we say this because. We know that a lot of little people get really, really offended oh, okay. with, with that word. Like it's really like a, a trigger word. But I, but how I, does that? I mean, when you guys use it, it's different it when they goes, use it. Yeah, huh? I said it's different when they use no, it. no, right? <laughs> it, it's it's different when we use it, but also like they they don't feel. I, I think that they don't feel that we should be advertising it like okay. that. Like like how. We say it so nonchalantly, maybe other people get a different idea and right. then they'll say it nonchalantly. But like that's back when back in the day that that was the only word I knew. Right. Like that was the word. That yeah. was the word. Midget. It wasn't an offensive word. Yeah, to it you. was it's a it's a it's a jockey. It's not even a little person. It's just a person of petite size. But now you got like now now, now you got like short kings. You got <laughs> short king. Short King. You, you got dwarves. You got little people. You got midgets. You got yeah. fucking pecs. You got. You but it it all goes back, and I don't get how like we're going so backward. It all goes back to like 
You know, like we hurt ourselves skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Words you say to me, <laughs> they don't even like that. I don't even get cut by them, you know? Right, right. So it's like, you know, choose your battle. <laughs> You're not going to hurt me with a word, but I'll definitely hurt myself skating. There's 100%. a lot of sensitive yeah. people these days, bro. No, you know, I know. You know. It's I'll, I'll, so sensitive. I'll, I do open mics a lot, and then like, and then I'll do shows, and then like sometimes at open mics, like a lot of the dudes that I see that, that, that have a joke about it, they won't do it because I'm there. Even though it's a really, really good joke, you know? Really? Like, mm-hmm. Do you tell them, like, hey, dude, you, I've seen I your joke, like, you don't do it, that yeah, here? Yeah. I'm wild. I, I do tell them that, okay. but, like, you know, sometimes people just mm-hmm. are so afraid of, like, getting canceled or judged or any of that stuff. I mean, there's ways I, to say anything really derogatory, but if it's just in a joke, like, yeah. we're there for comedy, like, just do it. Do you feel like, is it getting, sorry, is it it getting better though? Because I feel like there was a certain point in time where comedians had it bad and they had to watch every goddamn thing they're saying and then I feel like it's easing up now though. It's it's definitely easing up but like, um, it's still there. Is it? It's still there with groups that go. that's a shame though. I think the comedy's changed. Okay. I think the comedy, people have found, like instead of actually really saying midget, Uh Poncha and I have found we say midgies. So yeah. then it's like well, then now you're referring now, to the candy, but yeah, we're referring to the candy, but we're making it fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what okay. I mean? I, so mm. I think comedy is figuring out that route too to just walk the line and be right on it and keep yeah. it funny. I, yeah. you know mm. what I mean? Like and just hit it. That's how com- the good comedians do, though, right? That's right. how they do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think Mark, yes. Mark Norman yeah. is the epitome of that walk in the line. Like, oh, yeah. He is the guy yeah. now that's just like... He's quick with it. You're just yeah. like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's funny. That's what it is right there. And he yeah. uses the preference. He's like, comedy. You know, he's like, he, <laughs> he has to preface that. Like, he was leaving here and he's like, comedy. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's man. Just like, deliver- this is a joke. It's I, a delivery, I, I, too. Yeah, I also yeah. think it's like the audience that you're dealing yeah. with. Like, I did a show the other night and... And uh, the producer of it was like a, 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 a student from USC who does comedy. And so he he sold out the show and it was just a fraternity in there. <laughs> yeah. And those guys loved my jokes. I was like, <laughs> like they were down for all that stuff. But like you do those same jokes in a different room. Like it's just like a private rang. event, like for like yeah. a business or something. Uh, it's like a whole different thing. Yeah. I just miss the old school way of comedy, bro, where they did comedy and didn't care about fucking anybody's feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's just, I don't know. I I find like, you know, like the Red Foxes and your Richard Pryors and your Eddie Murphys mm-hmm. and your, just those individuals, there was not a filter. You know what I mean? It was and just they like, killed and they killed it. it right. You know what I mean? So that part of, of comedy, I don't ever want to lose that. I think that that's one thing about comedy that is amazing. Yeah. You're able to speak your truth based on how you feel about whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's one thing that I I think that we're slowly have lost a little bit because now everybody's so weary about what they're saying, you know? So I'm bummed on that to a degree, but at the end of the day, you know, we still have a lot of people out there doing a great job and, and, and doing what they want to do. Mm-hmm. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. With that being said, <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Comedy. No, no, no. Comedy. We need to, uh, dude, congrats on everything. Dude, it was such a pleasure to meet you, you. dude. Thank that you. was so yeah. much fun. It's a dude. pleasure to meet you, too. But um, yeah. first of all, can we give you some Nine Club stuff to take home? We got some Yeti stuff. We got some little drinks. Yes. And stuff. Yeah. Kelly, we do the yeah, honors, bro. Yeah. And, uh, like is that one of your sponsors, certain. Yeti? Yeah, yeah. They get, we were we're in bed with them. If you wow. want to say that, you know. First of all, he, Kelly's just okay. We're gonna like, hold on. First of all, <laughs> I'll take the two matching dude, green. Pleasure, pleasure, dude. <laughs> always, always, yeah, dude. Always so fun to hang out with you guys. You want the green? Which I want one? green and green. Green I'm, and green. I want the matchings. Oh, I'm, and we, go, I'm going matching. Poncho, if you want different. Yeah, we have different colors, colors in the back. Okay, <laughs> you, you look bumped, but yeah. We're, 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 <laughs> Later, bro. <laughs> Get your own nerd. <laughs> oh, fine. These are perfect. And uh, uh, yeah. to each of you, come back anytime you want. Doors always open. That's for good. sure. Have I'm building up more episode. stories. Okay. I'm building up more stories. Hey, well, Kelly, I wanted to tell you something. Um, I don't really know too much about you because mm-hmm. I kind of got out of the skate world. But the only thing I, I saw of you was the fakey through 60 flip fakey manual, which is oh. my absolute favorite. <laughs> 
favorite trick that's ever been done at the courthouse. Sarah. Wow, no, no offense, dude. yours was sick, but the fake dude, fake thank fake you, fake dude. Fake. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, <laughs> dude. Thank you so much. That no, means that a lot. Like, I, I, that was just out of nowhere, and I was like, "Who is this guy? Like, <laughs> what the hell?" Like, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, yeah. Are you still skating? I still skate. I, I, I had a crazy hip injury that just wore out over time, and so it kind of stopped my skating to skate like that but i still do it just because i love it but yeah yeah but well, good stuff man i'm thank you very much i'm glad i got to do that it was a dream trick to be honest but that I'm, is a dream <laughs> trick. <laughs> thank you no dude. one's done that we've been waiting for a while we have this old courthouse clip that plays like four hour loop we need to redo it with the fakey 360 <laughs> flip manual Four hour loop because you know what? it needs to be it needs to be updated. This it's actually, is my favorite it, it, episode it, it, ever. It needs to be updated. No, this, this, this actually went this, this went way too long. This should have been an hour. This should have been an hour. This gets cut out. This is, yeah, this is not, it's, this is not bad. This Tim, is, this is keep this horrible. in. Tim, <laughs> keep this in. Good night, everybody. Have a good one. We man, Poncho. Yeah.